Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Smooth Operative and welcome to Time Capsule here on the Games Done Quick Hotfix. It's the show where we usually travel back in time to your favorite years in gaming to show off awesome speedruns of games that were released in the same year. But tonight we are throwing all the rules out the window and keeping it right here in the present with a very special blindfolded speedrun of Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which was released earlier this year. But before we get into what is sure to be a very impressive speed run, let's cover a few announcements. Uh, first off, HDQ 2023 online prize submissions are open from now until December 30th. You can go to gamesdonequick.com for more information on that. Uh, and also, the schedule for Frost Fatales 2023 will be released on December 21st. And you can view the submissions at submissions.framefatales.com. Let us know what you're hoping to see on the schedule. But with that, I'm going to throw it over to our runner, and that is Bomb Happy for introductions. Yep. Hello, uh, my name is Bomb Happy, and uh, as you can see, I will be running Kirby in the Forgotten Land blindfolded any percent. Um, so there's going to be a lot of cool things that are going to happen in this run. I'll probably talk about it after everyone else gets themselves introduced. So yeah. Hello, my name is Mario Max, and I've been running this game for about eight months, specifically in the All Waddle Dees category and I currently have the world record for that category and yeah. Hello I'm Mr. Ernest Horshaft. So I've been playing this game since day one. Actually like day like negative like one I think. Something like that. <laughs> I've been playing this game for a while. This game's really dang good and I love it a lot. Uh, I think I'm currently I'm thinking still top five eight percent for this game too. So yeah. <laughs> Right on, Hopefully right you can on. carry that knowledge into this run. <laughs> well, we're super happy to have all of you here. Uh, Bomb, why don't you give us the rundown? <laughs> yeah, so um, difference between visual and any and blindfolded, for example. Uh, that's the biggest thing. I can't see the game. The only thing I can do is hear the game. So uh, with that, there's going to be a lot of setups that I'm going to be needing to do. Um, Mario Max and Shasta are both visual runners, so they're going to have a doozy with this one with blindfolded runs. So they'll see some things that are new, different, um, just because I can't do everything that a visual runner can do in this setup. So uh, we'll be seeing differences in routing, differences in movement, and then also uh, just to kind of run a story for this. So this game... I love this game. This is actually my first speed game. And the thing with this game is that I always watch speedrunning uh, blindfolds all the time. So Bubsy is one of those top runners for blindfolded gaming. And so I just thought, you know, I love this Kirby game. Why not do it blindfolded? It doesn't seem too bad. Um, but my first attempt at it, uh, I definitely didn't know what I was doing. I knew like normalized setups and stuff like that, where you go, you put yourself and yourself in a corner. But in this situation, um, it wasn't that efficient, and my first ever clear of this blindfolded run was eight hours and like six minutes. So it was, it was long. It was bad. And I mean, but um, you still did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, it was definitely like still doable. But now it's like gotten to the point where now it's just, it's optimized pretty well. I can still improve it still right now. But this is like a great showcase for what I have right now. Well, that sounds great to me. Whenever you are ready, uh, Bomb, I guess you're going to be muting and deafening us uh, <laughs> so you can't uh, hear hear us um, because yeah, no you will need cues, audio cues. All right, so we'll get into it. Um, and I'm just going to delete this file, and we will start it the moment um, I press the difficulty mode, and I'll count that down. All right, no regrets. Let's do it. All right. All right. Good luck, commentators. Good luck, host. <laughs> Thank and, you. Good luck um, to you. Bobby, Let's go. Yes. Good luck. Good luck to me. All right. And we will start it in three, two, one, go. Timer's on? Sure. Okay. Cutscene. You can skip cutscenes. Fun fact. Yeah. And also, fun fact, too, is that only the premier cutscenes are, uh, are slower, actually. A lot of the load times are pretty consistent throughout the entire game, probably enough between physical and digital. So, yeah. Pretty neat. But yeah, this is the Kirby Forgotten Lands. Uh, right at the start, you notice that we're doing something called uh, slide hopping. 
essentially if you slide and jump right at the very end of it, you cancel like the end lag of it, so it saves a good amount of time on just movement throughout the entire game. You can also do what's called a dodge roll there as well, just to get over that little that little ledge. If you hold if you hold shield or hold like L or R in this case, really on the shoulder buttons and just press a direction, you just kind of dodge in that direction. And it's really cool. Useful off for just movement and also for boss fights too. Yes, um, slide kicking is also like really good, like for aligning yourself, like as a blindfolded runner. Because um, what slide kicking can also do, like if you slide kick near uh like near ledge, you can't go off that ledge. So it's really also useful for aligning yourself that way. Um, also, right after, if you saw in the beginning, after your bomb skipped the cutscene, he went into his settings and he turned off something called auto swallow. He switched that to, it's, it's de on default, it's uh, usually on on, but he turned that off. Um, the reason being, what auto swallow does, um, auto swallow, if you swallow an enemy that normally like gives you an ability you don't have to like manually swallow it it will just automatically give you the ability um but we turn that off because there's some enemies that we want to swallow but we don't necessarily want their ability we we want it for like projectiles to hit enemies or bosses so like uh in general for this first entire run so i'm noticing you're ready with this blindfold run that like i want you to keep in the back of your mind throughout the entire thing is that uh, a lot, of, a lot of the movement bomb is doing, uh, especially if slide hopping everywhere to optimize it. Uh, he's, tr he's doing his best not to actually be really close to an enemy while uh, doing that, because in this game, for whatever reason, if you slide near an enemy, it'll automatically home into it. So he's doing stuff like just that. It looks to me like he's doing a lot of like <laughs> dodge rolling to actually get past them, which is uh, really cool. <laughs> the fact that you can just like time that like throughout each level like this, where there's an enemy right near him. That's part. That's part. Taking a lot of practice, people do that. Yeah, and this. This is the first. The, uh, if you fight right here, and it's done. Bam. Either. Yeah, and the slide kicking is like actually like worse. Um, if you click the spring breeze difficulty. Um, what the spring? There's two difficulties in the game. There's wild mode and spring breeze. The difference is that, uh, if you click spring breeze, you have more health, and wild mode you have less health, but you also get coins at the end of each level and that takes like a second out of each level so we don't we don't we don't like wild mode we don't like wild mode also there's like True. more enemies in wild mode They're like one like big thing in wild mode is like i think like six five because there's like more enemies in the starting area and that you have wild mode and that's like way slower the biggest thing too as well that is that your like slide radius when you're homing into an on the enemy is like a lot larger in in a spring reason yes here too. that is the worst it's the most annoying thing ever <laughs> yeah it's like i think in the wild mode it's like a 40 degree radius and on spring yeah. mode it's like a 60 degree radius something like that yeah I, yeah like that <laughs> yeah you don't you don't want to go you don't want to do that but you can't really avoid that too well let's go into the corner oh yeah there you go see yeah. that's a little set we can do a blindfold like that and then and he sucked in the woofy there no so that, that way he knows that he's on the right like part of the map basically so i just gonna keep on moving Ooh, oh nice dodge sick <laughs> dodge also when you dodge and you're like an enemy or an attack you do a slow-mo dodge like a dodge roll it goes like bullet time and it actually like slows down like all the stuff like around you so you have like more time to like do stuff like react it's simply something it's simply something you want to avoid, like when doing like a normal run of this game. But like in this case, it doesn't really yeah. matter, honestly. Also useful for some bosses. I'm not sure about like blindfolded, but definitely like the regular any percent. Absolutely. <laughs> it's come up to the first mini boss fight of the entire run here. This is Wild Edge. Normally, you use uh, two powers for this. You use, you use two choices, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that. Yeah, powerless in general. This game is very, very it's good. It's really good. Ooh. It's get, they just like gave like stars and like just spinning enemies in general, just so much H, like just just so much. It's, it's oh, nice. he missed the. Oh, he, he missed. missed. That's fine. Unfortunately, that means that Wild Edge will uh, be a little bit longer. Yeah. But if you hit him in the back mm -hmm. there while he has a shield out, uh, that, that that means that it takes uh, more damage. Yeah. And he's also vulnerable for longer. Like double damage or something like that. 
And he also takes more damage than, yeah. like, when he's stunned, too. And there we go. That's also a reason we turn off Auto Swallow, because if you, if you normally swallow the Wild Edge, it would give you Sword, but we don't want Sword here. We just spit it out. Ooh. See, I think how he's done this before, is because he went to the corner there and dodge rolled diagonally into the, the wall of the right there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bomb has, like, backups for every, like, for everything. It's, like, insane. It's an experience. Like, like, like it's insane, thing. like, how much he's, like, done this and experimented. Like, I could never do this. <laughs> Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Like, so kind of soon, by the way, is something we call a uh, turtle skip, or this, in some cases, turtle skips to skip, turtle skip, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but essentially, we're going to get a cone B here, get the cone, and then uh, hit the side of the turtle. If you times it, they press correctly, like frame perfectly, you can actually get a jump midair to skip going around the turtle. See, in about 10 seconds. See if he does he it here. He's going to go for it here. It is a hard trick. I'm not going to get it. I didn't get it. But that that's yeah, a hard it, it, It's frame perfect. It. Like, you get hit by the there, turtle. There is a, and then there's a secondary setup though, right here that yes. you go for. You get on top of there. That's good. And ah, uh, oh, missed it. Dang. Good thing we have a backup for so everything. You, we, you, you mentioned before the run, he has like a ninety percent success rate with that trick, pretty much. So like, you expect to get it, mm. and that's fine. Oh, it's it, that's. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, these things happen in blindfolded runs. Part of the fun of it, honestly. Yeah. It just it just makes it cooler, like how he backs these up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, one more. There oh, we go. There Let's go. <laughs> Easy first level. Easy flap. Heck yeah. I was like, can I just like say how insane like this run is? I think its PB is like a two oh six, two hours and six minutes. I believe. I'm not sure. I. I think it is. Is, is, is PB is PB is half an hour off the record that uses his eyes. Yes, that that's why it's so insane. Like Gosh, I, I cannot it, believe that. When you put it like that, it's like it's like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> right? And it's crazy. Like he mentioned like his first one was eight hours and now it's like down to almost sub two. It's insane. Mm -hmm. I remember I was watching his runs, like the six hour runs, and now he's two hours, like, huh? What? <laughs> Like two oh six, right? Yeah. Let me just check what that. I think during practice he got like a two oh five yesterday, but it was an invalid run because he would open his eyes to see the like the like the time. So uh, I guess to the flex a little bit on like the skills of this run here, uh, that's about fit better than fifty other people on the leaderboard. <laughs> yeah, well, about using your eye, that's crazy. Just, just a little flex there. I, I had to put, I had to throw it out, you know. <laughs> Anyways, now we have yeah, now we fire. Have fire. Fire's pretty cool. Uh, typically, you only do like two fires midair, except if you do like two fires and then a puff and then another fire. But after that, you start like flowing downwards. Anytime you do three fires in a row, you start like flowing down to the ground. Can't really avoid doing that. Yeah, fires. Uh, well, fires are like nice. the best abilities for like speed in this game. I would say there's like it's top two. Yeah, top two. I feel I would say there's three. I don't think the third one gets any use in this one or any percent in general but the other one that comes to mind is tornado and i don't think we use needle that much here but i might be wrong yeah. i don't know i don't think needles mostly used in true enemies yeah cycle. oh you got that cycle oh my oh, that, god that's, that's, a, that's a hard cycle to make <laughs> oh, especially without right, your eyes be good. Oh, i think he's oh ah uh, uh, if you press b there he is fine yeah Someone just asked how fast current by full by full record. Uh, Bomb Happy has it. It's like a two oh six. The two oh six, and I think the record for like normal any percent is like a one thirty seven. It's a high one thirty seven. Yeah. That's literally thirty minutes and, and, difference. Yeah, like literally half an hour uh, off. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> also, fire is a really good ability because like once you like fire dash in a direction, you're kind of like fixed in that direction. So it's like really good for like blindfolded. Unlike Tornado, where it's really hard to control. <laughs> One thing to know too is that uh, we're using fire. You actually don't want, or really any power in the game, especially in this case, you don't want to go too close to the a Malpha mode object, like these stairs, for instance. We don't want to hit these stairs. We actually don't want to use them. Normally, you do casually, but not here. In this case, we're just going to do two fires up here, and then the fire over there on top of that platform, and then oh. just fire across once again. And you just saw a use for slide also, kicking there um, near the edges. We haven't even mentioned it yet. 
We haven't mentioned it yet, but uh, Waldies, that, those are a thing we gotta get. Oh, I love Waldies. Right They're my favorite ever. Maybe I'm a little biased yeah. because I run the all Waddle-Dees. <laughs> <True. sighs> but yeah, so every world has a, a, a Waddle-Dee requirement in general. Like a certain amount you need to actually unlock the boss of each world. In this case, for the first world, it's 17, and you just got one right there on the wall. There's a wall. There's, there's usually like three cage Waddle-Dees in each level. You get three of them each level as well, too, for just being it. And then there's like three, sometimes four extra ones, I want to say, most of the time. In that case, uh, we call those hidden wall Ds. In that case, in that last level, you got a hidden wall D by, by removing the poster from the wall. So, while he's doing the normal movement there, fire, he actually got like a wall D, which progressed him even further ahead into completing the world, too. Uh, this Wait, level's. Okay. And there's a few things like that you'll see, like movement wise, in this run there, like that, too. This level is a pain because it has these boulders, and there's like some enemies and attacks that if you get hit by them there's a chance you might like lose your ability in the boulders case if you get hit by a boulder i think there's a hundred percent chance you lose your ability so that's why this level is really annoying even then there's two things you could adjust this level two for uh the wall of d rowing one thing is actually getting the food off the tree stems which it's a little low on health right now i thought i thought you'd get that but apparently not oh, right there. the other one is actually in this section here where uh, you have to go down a little alleyway and to the right after these two boulders here. Oh. If you go down there just for, even just for, for a little bit, you uh, you, you just get like a wildy just right here. See? Yep. We found the side road while going uphill and then we don't care about it anymore. Let's go. We found the side hill. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There's also another way you get to end this level as well, too, by uh, getting Carby right at the end and then not falling off the cliff. Which, uh, doing that while blindfolded? Good luck. <laughs> yeah, let's see how he does it here. I'm curious as well. Hmm. I have an idea. Hey, he's holding it directly left. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, he's just, just hugging the yeah. wall. Oh, oh that's good. That's the scary part right there. The rest of the level, you shouldn't fall off the side. Keyboard being shouldn't, of course. <laughs> Don't jinx it. <laughs> uh, Don't go to the right yeah, side. Yeah, he's <laughs> Oh no, the controller tilted downward. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> ah, beans. Oh, <laughs> the boulder. Oh man, boulder trolling. Ah, oh, there we go. The troller, was a, if you will. Troller. Yeah, that was a clean level. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> Man, it's so insane. Ram, fun fact as well too, but this level has the first uh, Howl Room in it as well. Ah yes, the Ranger Howl Room. The classic, honestly. You can get Hammer early with that, with that Howl Room and Tornado if you wanted. I think that's like used for like minimum mouthful runs, right? Like getting Hammer. I think. Because you can skip like, I, you can, I, think, I think you can skip stuff like mouthfuls in this level. Was this using Hammer? That, that one surprised me. That, yeah, especially if hammer. Yeah, I'll, we'll get the hammer later and how broken. Uh, yeah, it is I'm, ex I'm really excited for that. But, yeah, because he's doing all the eight percent tricks during this run. So that's and there's some crazy eight percent tricks too. Also, this level's music is a banger. So good. So the level in general is a banger. I love a live one. Yeah, it's one of my favorite levels, even though it's like the hardest in like all Waddle Dees. But even then, it's I still have fun with it. This oh, level's yeah. terrible in all Waddle Dees. <laughs> I've seen the movement done, like done all all these here. It's it's ridiculous, <laughs> especially in this part right here. Oh. Is he gonna do this? Ooh. I think he is. Can, okay, so the, the the strategy here for eight percent oh. is to bring his invincibility candy all the way to the boss fights, or to the uh, what's it called, Mr. Mr. Frosty like main boss fight. We also have to go through a certain path. Oh no, no, no never mind. That's that's all all these. <laughs> we have to go. Yeah. We have to go on this path here and like. It skips like getting a certain wall D as well. If you can, if you can take us all the way to the boss battle blindfold, that'd be ridiculous. I think he's done it before. Here. He's done it before, definitely. Yeah, let's see who's gonna just slide along this this uh, little path right, here. I hope we can find the frosty. Boom, bait hole. Oh, yes. Right. So good. Yeah, he did. <laughs> so good. As soon, that was like right at the end of Vince Kenny's life lifetime yeah. too. That was ridiculous. <laughs> And yeah, you mentioned in all waddle dees. Oh, that trick is so bad in all waddle dees. I regret finding that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice dodge roll. The float, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, this can be a lot, I won't buy. <laughs> Mm. Bunk. Well, there we go. No, 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 no. And it's crazy how he just memorizes like all the movements, like what to do. Like really if you is. if you do like exclamation mark blindfolded in in chat, I think that's his notes. I believe. Um, you can see all his <laughs> notes. You can just see like all like the movement there. If you're curious, it's crazy. His notes melt in my brain. Yeah. <laughs> In a good way. It, yeah, it's, it's like, pretty, it's, pretty it's like cool. really like, it took a lot of effort. I respect that. Same. Mm -hmm. I think he's been routing this since like, I want to say April this year. Honestly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like... I remember seeing this like a while ago. Yeah, like he like started doing this like really early on. Mm hmm He's like, he woke up one day and you know what? Blindfolded. That's Why what I'm gonna do. <laughs> There's a lot of them all for you, though. Forgot to mention, but, also can, but along with like taking Invisible and Candy to, to Mr. Frosty fight and destroying him in like one hits, you, uh, you also got Invisible Candy because it gives you quality. And also as well, too, Invisible Candy just give you faster oh, movement in this game, too, when you have it. That so is true. Neat. I think it's like the same movement if you have like a speed boost on. Which I don't know. Exactly, I don't know if he yeah. actually gets boost in this run. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see like way later. Anyway, we have enough Waddle Dees and we unlocked the boss level. Let's go. For all them all. We got Gormando. Gormando, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now there's a few different strats you can do in Gormando. There's the Opulus strat. But I... Oh, wait, I think he was actually practicing blind, like Copulus blindfolded in this one. I don't know if he'll do it here though. We'll see. I hope so. Uh, uh, it's like, huh? Like, he even figured it out to, like, huh? How do you do this? <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Watch this. Is, is he getting the bananas? Oh, yeah, bananas. Let's bananas. go. <laughs> Just like 30 bananas over there for some reason. It's great. <laughs> I have a feeling he was because he's low on health. Fun fact. All right, let's do nice. I ate a banana today. Oh, oh. I was thinking about it. Oh, look. Oh, it, no. He got bomb for bomb happy. Oh, he's getting ice. Okay. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So ice is a very interesting ability because there's like a, I, I, I want to say like, what do you call it, like an exploit maybe? I don't know. But pretty much, yeah. if you shield and like press the attack button at like a certain pattern while also um, pointing the direction you want to attack, you can like attack with the shield and like your attack. And it, just, it does this basically. And it freezes him like it just, it just freezes him like way faster too. If you do it too fast, you do that ice attack, which you don't want to really do. And also, he also panned the camera downward um, towards like Gormando's like feet because without that, that's like a thing of lag reduction basically. Because the the ice freezing on Gormando gets really laggy, but if we point the camera downward, it reduces the lag. It's kind of like the sub in Mario sixty four. Oh, oh, oh he's close. so close. There we go. There we go. Nice. Works. Perfect fight. Also, a cool thing about Spring Breeze is that if you throw a projectile at an enemy or boss, it homes in better. So good. And there we go. First boss done. And you got the clear within two minutes. That's a Waddle D. You also got like, the one where it goes between his legs, too. It's pretty, to be fair, pretty easy to do that with Aya since you're constantly moving yeah. forward with it, but still. Yeah, so each boss has like four hidden Waddle Dees. Two of them are always going to be be within a certain time and do without taking damage. And then the other two are like just random objectives um, correlating to the boss. And of course, the, none of them matter in 8%. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, unless for like the boosts to unlock the boost store, I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no, right, I don't right. know if he does it There's this run. I'm not sure. I haven't watched that part. Maybe. Uh, let me check the notes real quick. It might, it might oh, we could check the notes. Hmm, let's go to the notes. That is true. The notes, the notes, uh, the notes. He does. He, he does actually do oh, that. That's, that's cool. There you go. Sick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Has Bomb been practicing this? Like, what do you think? Like, since April, maybe? I want to say, like, mid-April. 
It was, it was pretty early on, but not like day one. Yeah, it was like really I'm, early. As far as I can remember. I, I can check what yeah. his first run was. Uh... So first run, they're mostly relying on audio cues to go everywhere, and also like they're, they've just done like a lot of practice, so it's all a lot of it's committed to muscle memory too. Like right. you'll see at certain parts, so you'll, you'll do like a slide near an enemy and then stop and just dodge roll past them because that's because if you slide near an enemy in this game, you home in on them. So stuff like that is like a, 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 a something he'd use to like go fast in this and like you know avoid just going off track of your movement, because a lot of time in blindfold runs, you don't want to go off track of your movement at all. Having to do a backup for any, any movement whatsoever is, like, always really hard. It's very hard to manage it. Hey, wait, yo, Bananas playing Pokemon Violet? That's crazy, we were just talking about Bananas. <laughs> yo? <laughs> it showed up on the corner of his screen, that's nice. Comedic timing. timing. Imagine if that happened when he actually got the Bananas, though, that would have been hilarious. That, that would have uh, been so good. Okay, so come on, bananas. Two minutes early. Okay, it looks like he started seven months ago, according to the YouTube video. Hopefully, that's like he started practicing. Fire. Should be. It is oh, volcano fire. fire. He can't hear us, but you know. <laughs> exactly. Thankfully, it is. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's deafened because you 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 do need like audio cues for this game. And we don't want to be a don't distraction. To talking over yeah, here. we're just, we're just a distraction, you know. So you can't hear us. Abandoned beach. Oh yeah, this, this level also has a skip in it too. That I might just probably gonna go for. Ah uh, yes, uh, the bonker skip. In the second room, there's a way. Yeah, in the second room is a way to skip the mini boss fight of bonkers if you do a certain setup, essentially. The idea is a clip is a clip right over the wall, a like visible wall that's a little bit off screen, and just like ride that all the way to the end. Yeah, he's going right, for it right here. here. If you hop on this like tree, like on the top of it, he's lining himself. This is a pretty your miss trick, and you float to the edge of the screen. For some reason, you can just skip right past this boss, and there's a little gap over here. Very nice. nice. That was very good. So we don't have to fight Mr. Bonkers. We just skip over him. Do we even seconds. fight Bonkers in this? Wait, do we even fight Bonkers in this run at all? I just realized. I don't man, think so. Man, we really hate Bonkers, I guess. <laughs> I like Bonkers. <laughs> He's probably like the favorite out of the four mini bosses. For me, at least. He never does anything wrong to me. The other ones, though, they always do me wrong. OMG Needless! Goodbye, Needless. Needless, my I beloved. Love needless. It's and yes, its name is Needless. Great name. Needless, Needlouse, yeah. whatever it is. Even then, they're both great names. Friend, <laughs> Friend true. <laughs> <laughs> I love that setup. It's my favorite setup right there. <laughs> That's a very cool setup, honestly. I agree. You can't hear me agreeing, though. We agree. You always got to clarify that. If we if we talk loud enough, will we, will, will we go through the Discord mutes? I don't <laughs> Let's know. find out. Not just kidding. I don't, Let's, I don't think it works that way. <laughs> yeah. uh, up right. Yeah. In incoming Discord hack incoming. <laughs> All right, I knew my computer science degree would come would become useful for something. Let's go. No, just kidding. I don't even I don't even have the degree yet. <laughs> hmm. All right, next level here. We got concrete aisles. There's aisles of concrete everywhere. Basically, I mean, what what more can I say? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the first room is very large and all full of water, and we're just gonna go on like on it the whole time here. We don't need to do anything here except for uh, disturb three seabirds, or actually greet three seabirds. Excuse me. That's about it. It gives us a wall D. As we all know, the best way to greet your your bird friends uh, just go up to them uh, and just wave fire in their face. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> Must be a friendly greeting in the Forgotten Land. <laughs> yeah, like, like that. See. <laughs> they flew away because they're just really excited, you know? I yeah. understand that. They're just playing Game of Tag real quickly. 
Yeah, this just like they don't mind. One just got okay. There is some like weird ledges like that where you slide kick and it slides you off. That I don't understand why that happens. Um, there's just some like platforms in the game that are like kind of act as slopes. You know, they don't look like slopes. They just slide you off. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there's a cycle he can make here. I don't think he made it though. Unless. No, he didn't. Nah. Uh, oh, oh, he almost got hit by that. The fireballs from these cannons are another thing where if you get hit, you automatically lose your ability 100% of the time. So, want to avoid that. <gasps> He's going to get drill. Okay. Oh, he's going for this one? Wait. Oh, oh no, What's oh, no, he doing? No. Okay, it's, it's, for, it's for a setup later. I know what it is. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. so like in, in this game, whenever you suck up a power, uh, that's added to the to the mix wheel normally. Normally in Kirby games, you suck up two enemies at once, it'll give you a power. It'll give you like a, a, a roulette wheel of every single power in the game, and usually in a set order. But in this game, the roulette wheel itself is only of the powers they've gotten so far, so... In that case, he got drilled to set for for a mix way later in the run. I think I know which one it is too. Yeah, and um, Dark Rael was also as the person who like figured out how the mix works and like how the roulette works, and he's in the chat right now. Shout out to Dark Raiolu. Yeah. Shout outs, Colonel Lockett Holder, for eight percent, and I think, I think a few of the categories. I think he got cool. he just recently got no copy abilities. I think. Yeah. Which is really go cool. Very good run in this game, and also many other Kirby games, too. Yeah. Also, I know Bomb Happy said that this is his first speed game. It's also my first speed game. Little fun fact. Game is cool. Hey. I love this game so much, I'm like, I'm going to speedrun it, because I don't want my experience to end with this game. <laughs> so that, Honestly, me. Yeah. That's me right there. <laughs> that's why I've run so many <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah. All right, next mini boss here. Ah, uh, this boss, his name is Florina. We're gonna fight it right now. Oh, he's gonna do the strat? Okay. Oh, doing the strat, okay. Fun fact about Florina, by the way, this is the only main boss in the entire Kirby series that is that is a tornado. It gives you the power of tornado. I'm glad they brought tornado back in this game. Alright, so what we're gonna Same. do is we're gonna do like this basically. Um, uh, wait, <laughs> boom. Bam, bam. There we go. So what we did there. Very fast kill right there is we made sure to do enough damage um, with ice, but like not, Ooh. oh, tornado, yeah, tornado moment. Unless, ah, oh. eventually okay. falling down puts you back to where you first uh, were on the ground, so. But yeah, in that boss, you wanna do like enough like damage, but like not like too much damage to where you activate um, Florina's second phase. Cause when they transition to their second phase, they t have like a shield and they take less damage for like two seconds. So what we actually wanted, what we wanted to do there is do just enough damage where we don't do that. And once ice, um, like once you freeze an enemy with like a boss with ice, and once they get unfrozen, they do like a huge chunk of damage at once. And if you do that, um, you can like bypass a little bit of like the shield. So you can do less damage in the second phase. And then we just shot out the abilities at her to finish her off. Really cool. And this section right here is an auto yeah. scroller. No way to really speed it up. Actually, there's one way if you like bounce on the ground and like yeah. immediately do the, the the spin tackle there. That's that's it. But it's only it's not really useful in like this one. It's only really useful in like the the five four auto scroller like this. Yeah, I would say this is also this song is really good. I would say this is probably like Agreed. I don't know. In in my uh -oh. opinion, I don't know. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, the oh, Ro. Auto cutouts uh, real quickly. Uh, oh, no. Monka. I, I'm pretty sure this happened. I remember I was watching a blindfolded run of his like a few months back. I think this happened too. But I don't think it only happened that one time. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. Oh, bro, he doesn't. He, 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 oh, thankfully, okay, that, good, thankfully good. the good. arc mouth has like a huge hitbox. <laughs> no. Has a huge hitbox. All right. The audio cut out, and I hear. Ooh, thank goodness. And I'm like, that's Things insane how he's. Okay, it's insane well, how he still like did that second. section about the audio. Uh, I'm sorry. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. All right, we're back. These, we're back. these we're back. things happen. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, there's no sound on the the switch home menu. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. Should be good now. It'd be like that. All right. Did I hear, I hear it? Yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. We're good. Uh, wait. Look, I don't back. even know if I got the Waddle D though. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, he doesn't know. Well, I have to. Read. Does he? Does he know? He doesn't know. Does he know? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I wish he. I have to reset because I don't know where the waddle is. Quick, uh, let's hack the Discord so we can. Okay, we can you tell can him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Do you think he, like. I, I, I can't see his stream right now. I can't see the face cam. Do you think he was blindfold just Although, like. Oh, no. Yes. I guess that was pretty cool. <laughs> yes, he did. That's fine. <laughs> but, you know, as long as. But either way. The yeah. run blindfolded is fine, you know? These things happen. So yeah, I guess for now though, that's, that is a cool thing about this game. If you miss like anything during a session like that, there's a, especially during these arch mouse sections, uh, there are usually like a blue star that'll take you back to the beginning of it. Pretty cool yeah, thing about the game it's itself. Actually, like a lot of cool things about the game, especially this when I first played this game, and you can invert controls. Like that was insane to me. I don't know. <laughs> it's this just so just thought. Cool it's just so game, thoughtful. You know? Like oh, inverted controls. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Wait a little bit, like right here. He's gonna see if there's gonna be a red coin here instead of a weldy in one second. Listening for it currently. Oh no! Yeah, because because yeah, because when you retry, um, it resets all like your progress there. Like like that had yeah, never yeah. happened. That makes sense. Yeah, so you can't like infinitely farm coins and stuff. It just like takes you back to where you were. Point count and all. This is all world yeah. road like two minutes back. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Fortune of the. I forgot about that actually, yeah. because like, if you, if you go back into the level after you got the Wall of D in that mm -hmm. level, then uh, the Wall of D replaced by by some red coins. It give you like twenty or so, I say twenty or thirty. So like, yeah, I yeah. thought that was gonna happen there. Hopefully the audio won't do a little trolling for the rest of the the run. Hopefully not. Yeah, I'm also impressed that in that like short time, audio was out. He was like still able to like make it work. Like, did you see? Like, he was like, I swear, it was like a frame off of not breaking that breakable wall almost. Yeah, it was yeah. really close. <laughs> that was really like insane. Must be like the last <laughs> active frame with that like spin <laughs> tackle. That's crazy. <laughs> Interesting using the map to this warp to the level. <laughs> Is run technically invalidate the sound issue? I mean, like, if it PB is, yeah, probably. Mm. But who I'm knows? not sure. I mean, I guess he. I, I think we should. I think we shouldn't worry about yeah. it because no, like, blindfolded leaderboard or anything. Yeah. It's like. And plus, it's this fine. is like. Don't worry this is just a showcase, you know. So it's like the fun is not invalidated. Yeah. Exactly. True yeah, words exactly. have never yeah. been yeah. spoken. Yeah. <laughs> Share screen is still available for commentaries. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Otherwise, they can't see anything. Mm -mm. Oh, this fight. All right, so this fight, this fight, you have to not fall into the water oh, in order to actually get a well deep. So hopefully we're all good here. The glungs here are especially going to be a problem, uh, I feel, for this. Like, I know there's a lot of glung fans out here, but I do not like glunks. <laughs> what the heck? Look, you know the reason? I think Glunks are like one of the enemies. If you get hit by their attack, you like there's a hundred percent chance you just drop your ability. It's so annoying. Glunks do be. You know what? I'll give it up. Glunks that, do that, be that, that guy. It's a, a little bit annoying. I'm with you there. Glunks do be that C and the anemone. I don't know what they are. <laughs> they are. The, yeah. I, I used to call them C and then the enemies before their name. C an enemy. See, uh, the an enemy enemy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're using the tornado bonks to position himself. That's really smooth. Mm -hmm. Get that gold fish. Right here, you got fall into the water, or oh, you didn't even fall in the water. You got, you got lucky there. You, you, you find the golden fish in the water there by just like going into it, right next to it. But uh, you got Ooh. lucky with the tornado and had hitbox send right to the golden fish. So we're good. Wall D for you. It's a cool little dodge roll set up into the wire yeah. just to get the position for the button. Also, if you. There's so many cool little things about a run like this, you know? Also, if you dodge roll like in the water, it's actually faster than like like base like water movement. Like just normally like swimming. It's cool. I think, 
I think he was trying to go for the tin of fish right there too. Oh. If you get a so that's that's objective. We have to get three of them to get a wall of E. If he gets one out of the three, it will uh, in instead of, instead of giving you like you know it will give you a little progress saying one, uh, one out of three tins of fish. And now, and that prevents a pop-up from happening at the end of this level, yeah, so, which loses about two seconds. So we'll see it right but here. But in this case, he barely missed it, so he's yeah. not getting that time save. That's all right. So this is what happens. Um, if there's an objective that you didn't like get, the game will tell you which one. Um, so I'll like the question mark. The commentators can still see it right there. And it takes a bit of time to like reveal the objective. If you would have got that tin of fish, um, the game didn't have to reveal that objective. So. It would have been like a small, little, a small little time save, but nothing too like major. It's, it's only yeah, yeah. It's only like a thing in a few different spots in the run. This this is one of them. Yep. Oh man, I love this boss. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, what a what a, what a, a really great what a great boss. Sense. Yeah. Gotta thank Dark Riolu for this one. I think he actually. I, I think he, really really cool pilot. So yeah. I'll give it up. <laughs> and I think I believe Bomb actually does go for the the Copula strat here, which oh, which so is cool. insane. <laughs> yeah, the Copula strat. If you watch my my uh, SGQ run of this game, uh, I think I did it correctly in that run. It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> it's essentially like there's so many precise things that you have to do for for the Copula strat in order to be able to just barely destroy them in time before while getting tornado back at the same time right in the fight so he's gonna try that blind fluid now <laughs> so uh let's let's see if he can do that that's gonna be hard but i believe i believe all right let's see it okay. jump over some ways there we go tornado. Got he, he, right here. interesting i don't think he was oh, i don't think he was supposed it. to swallow it also nice, yeah, nice ghost, <laughs> nice ghost nut. That's why I like to call it. If you like, if you like, suck the, um, like, if Tropic Woods destroys the, one of the, I don't know what are like coconuts he drops, but you're like also, sucking it up right when he does that, it like just respawns back and you get to swallow it. I don't know how that works. I like to call it the ghost coconut. The ghost coconut. I, I see that honestly. <laughs> It's a ghost. It just comes back. It's mm. very spooky. All right. So it looks like a backward anyway. strat right there. That was very good. Second phase. So that's probably the hardest one. It is definitely the hardest yeah. one. Very precise. Got to get those, get those two. Got to make sure the, the gate spawns a bit further to the left oh, over nice. here. We, we spit out this star here in particular. I like how he bonked off um, Tropic Woods to align himself with the, the stars. And quad right here. Oh, wow. Back. Dude, it's that's insane. Oh, my God. Oh, that's insane. That's so good. Also, you saw right when he defeated the boss, he went to suck up Tornado. It didn't look like Tornado went in his mouth. However, um, it did. Right there. You suck up like an, there it is. You suck up an ability. The cutscene like starts. It actually just goes in his like mouth after the cutscene ends. That's the blueprint, though. Ah, uh, missed the blueprint. The blueprint. Uh, run invalid. Listen, we need we need Noble Ranger to, win, oh to beat this God. run, okay? We need it. <laughs> Noble Ranger. That's the one it gives, yeah. <laughs> it does. Uh, I, I know that. It's happened to me a few times. Quick. I think, I think I'm starting to like that 100% um, blindfolded thing so I can get all the blueprints. <laughs> Maybe we should tell Bomb to just switch over to that real quick. Nah, he's not. Oh, wow. He has, he has not done one hundred percent. Oh, we got oh, nice. all these two there. Yeah, he didn't. Cool. He didn't get hit. He didn't. He destroyed the roots. He yeah. Insane. The hardest one, of course, for every single one of these boss fights here is not getting hit. That is a wall D. Yup. It's really hard even with your eyes. He just did that without using his eyes. Yeah, there's a cat. And he messed with the first phase too. So like, he had to make he had to make sure he didn't get hurt hit during the first phase either while it happened. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like even like I'm surprising it in the first phase even like when he, when he did his backups. Mm -hmm. Same. Those puffs are also yeah. There's a category called all waddle D's where you must get all the waddle D's, and that means you cannot get hit by a single boss, <laughs> or you have to restart mm -hmm. the boss, and it loses like a minute. Anyway, you're gonna very float up here. Is he gonna get the? Yes, he did. Oh yeah, it worked. There we go. He wasn't even on top of the mm -hmm. rocket. He just kind of went next to it. Give a little hug. Yeah, you got to be like directly on top of that rocket, which is nice. This is my favorite world, by the way. I love Wondaria. I used to not like this world, but it grew on me. 
Hell yeah, let's go. Like, it's just so charming. I love it. Yeah, like, of course, like, I like it because, like, the charming. I think I used to hate it because of this, what the speed run I did. <laughs> it was very That's bad, fair. but this is not the hardest world. I, I've got, I've got, oh, I've gotten better at this one. Waiting. He knows. He just he, knows. He, he waited for the yeah. whole cycle there. He and knows. And even then, if he dodge rolls, I think he can, like, bypass it because of the bullet time. Can go through the, the trucks, I believe? Not sure. No roller coaster, Sag. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. I wish. They really should route it in the roller coaster to this run. Yeah. That's like two uninterrupted minutes of, uh, of just pure fun. <laughs> and then you have all D at the end. So like, it, it's perfect. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, just destroy that bunny. These guys are annoying. <laughs> okay, dodge rolling. Slide kicking on the edge. Oh, he's going on top of that to get the... Oh, yeah, I see what he's doing. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh the barely got, got a bad cycle there. That's okay. That was really also, cool. Also, th those doors have like really, like the hitboxes on those doors are like not accurate. <laughs> like you. So in this room, you're supposed to be like uh, suck up water and become like water balloon Kirby in order to actually get real stairs like right there. But if you use tornado to at uh, the right heights like that, you can just kind of skip over the stair section. And we're doing the same thing here too as well. To go right on top of that little banner, on top of the light post, and then jump up, and then just tornado. And if it does it correctly, it should get right on top. There we go. Unfortunately, what that means is that we will not be seeing Water Balloon Kirby. How sad is that? So sad. I know, right? Unless... Let's go! The boy! Oh, I'm, like, this, like, this is my, this is my favorite is. one. He's so cute. My favorite mouthful mode. He's so cute. He's so adorable. War Blue is so good. <laughs> Full of pilk. <laughs> pilk! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I saw an image a while yeah, ago. I, I, I remember, like, <laughs> I first found out about what, like, pilk was earlier this year. That sounds terrible. Yeah. I think it was officially tweeted by Pepsi recently, yeah. too. <laughs> and, and it's not. Like, like enjoy, enjoy the holiday season with pilk. I just really don't like oh, okay. milk. <laughs> I just don't like milk. <laughs> Milk is bad. I don't like. I don't I like it. I enjoy milk. I'm a milk enjoyer. I like it, like if it's in cereal, I, I, but like, I'm a dairy but like enjoyer. alone, I cannot drink it. I just don't like it. That's fair. Yeah. Great for cooking, though. Who knows? Maybe pilk actually tastes good. I don't know. Uh, Who knows? I guess the I got time it it's between 19 to 22 seconds. If that's what you are talking about right now, I have no idea if it is. <laughs> We're talking about pilk, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's definitely. Yeah, Around the but, realm. But right here, though, there's, there's, <laughs> what were you talking about? Right here, there's, there's two uh, mini games, more essentially, where you have to like uh, just go to the end of the track as fast as you can. Yeah, so you can see so, there that I uh, get the time right here between 19 and 22 seconds. Yeah, you can see there. You know what, honestly, if there's you, like a leaderboard. If you get it correct, the, oh. if you get it correct, I'll give to you the top of the channel. How about that? Hey, yo. We got a two. We got a 23.767. 2137. Oh, will he do it? 2137. Come it. on. 20.118 uh, and you can see if you do above yeah. below 25 seconds you get a waddle d i'm supposed to get the 20 but it's fine oh yeah it's right yeah if you get below 20 seconds you get a wall a hidden wall yeah. d as well so backup strat right here to get this there we go. let's go hmm and you're condition of that too because uh there's usually a pop-up that happens that says that you got it but you barely missed it yeah. <laughs> How is this even possible? I have no clue. He's just insane. Uh, lots lots of, practice, of practice memorization. Like and yeah. Thankfully, the controls in this game aren't like too like crazy. <laughs> so you can set yourself up easily. By the way, there, there's one more uh, mini game right at the end of this with like the, the, the card and everything. Yeah. So you got one more chance to guess correctly. That stuff was really cool. Now he's using fire for Wild Edge here. There's a strike you can do. You can do powerless here with Wild Edge, but it's definitely really hard to do yeah. with uh, without using your eyeballs. So I'm blaming for using using this yeah, here. Definitely, yeah, because you use Tornado for that one. And yeah, you gotta find all the stars, and it's a bit annoying. Mm-hmm. That's and he's done. Look at that. And also, Wild Edge literally just gets run over. Oh well, he didn't. But usually, he was about, he was to. about to. If he actually gets run. Oh, oh he's on fire. Oh, oh, oh wait, I, no, never mind. Wait, could he? Oh, hey, yo, blueprint, get the blueprint. No, just kidding. 
Oh, come uh, on. Could he, could, uh, he, could he have actually gone back to get fire? I'm not sure. It's okay. We can get another fire later. I'm not sure if those enemies respawn or not. But anyway. It doesn't get another one later. That's It'll such a cool setup, though. That's actually such a sick setup with that car. That's cool. That's very good. <laughs> Anyway, I'm taking a random guess here. Uh, I'm, guess, I'm guessing like 45, 13. Okay, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna one. guess. Hmm. I'm gonna guess 40. 44.98 or something like that. How does he do that without his eyes? <laughs> For the second one, there's a hidden wall of D to, to go between. to go through a two cardboard shortcuts in this. And he just did that right there. That, that's that's a hard jump even with your eyeballs there. Crazy how he, I, I, it's crazy how he just, just knows like when to move and like when to jump. Okay, that man, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, that, was that was actually like a really good time. <laughs> yeah, like my, my, I think my best there was like a low 38, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, it's like such insane how like, we were saying before like, the Pete is like his record for blindfolded is only like 30 minutes off like the the seeing record. Oh, God. <laughs> and by the way, for those people doubting his ability to actually play this game blindfolded, his actual PB without uh, doing this without blindfolded at all is like it's like a one, it's like a high one forty, I think. Yeah, wait, he, he, and that's like two or three minutes. He's like he's, he's, he's like top four or five, right? Um, the top five. Yeah, he's sure. definitely top. I think he's like one place below me. Yeah, I, think I thought so. he beat you recently. Actually, don't, actually, he's actually, he's don't know. Me. Maybe he already bop you. He's gonna, he's, Let me check. If he hasn't bought me yet, he's gonna bought me at some uh, point. It's like soon for sure. Really, just all fire. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to town. Oh yeah, he did bop you 17 days ago. Oh crap! By 10 mind. seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's Hell go. yeah! Heck yeah! Oh, we're going back to. Oh, oh yeah, because we're see some of the cutscenes early. Getting, getting. Yeah, it needs fire. We're, we're getting fire. fire. Yeah. So some early if, cutscenes, as you said. Yeah. So we're gonna have to see these cutscenes later on. Normally, you see is after World Three. And there's like a, a lot of cutscenes after World Three, but uh, yeah, back of strats. I was like, I like the idea I was gonna do there of needle though, just for a second. Needle gaming. Needle gaming. Yeah. So cool thing about the weapon shop, if you unlock an ability. That's cutter. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, also, a little fun fact for you, too. You can only get rid of uh, your power inside the weapon shop. Or you really inside of Valdi Town in general with, like, uh, the Y button. You can't... Normally, in, in this run, we use the minus button to get rid of powers immediately because it doesn't doesn't have a little, like, countdown. But uh, you can't do that in Valdi Town for some reason. Don't know why. Now, after those shenanigans there, it's time for my favorite level of the entire game. This level is just so silly. <laughs> it's so silly and fun, honestly. If you unlock an ability... Invasion at the House um, of if you, like, get so many, so many horrors away in you. Careful, chat. Don't get scared. Don't get scared, chat. <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> There's a few. There's a few objectives we gotta get here too. Like for instance, there's three little snacks that they've hidden everywhere. These little ghosts inside here. There's one there right in the corner over there. There's a few more uh, throughout the rest of the level. He's gonna get without you know seeing the game. That's pretty cool. Looks like Mario is there to cut out. He'll be back soon, hopefully. During this section, you're supposed to normally use light bulb Kirby to like go around this entire track, but we're gonna just not do that. It's, uh, you can actually just skip this as long as you know where you're going. Oh, is that on purpose? It's not on purpose. Oh no, maybe, maybe it is. Ooh, the steps? This definitely seems like it'd be a lot easier to do with fire rather than light bulb anyways, just because of all the steps you do. Because you're just going to the corner a lot of time and then going out of it. <coughs> Oh, just slightly too low right there, though, unfortunately. That's okay, it respawns very close by. Uh, the shrimp seems to have a lot of, like, little checkpoints and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, whenever you die in it, so, like, it's all good. It's like he's a little bit off track here, trying to find his way back just a little bit. Uh, yeah, there we go. Went right, right in the path. There's a few ghost gorgos around here. If you get by a ghost order on this, in this, in this part of the level, then... 
uh, you lose a, you lose a, lose on a wall of D. And then right at the end of it, there's actually a little skip to skip the last little light bulb that you need by just doing two fire dashes and then another one after it floats, and bam. And then right in the corner, uh, one more hidden snack, and there we go. Last one's gonna be up here too. It's a little strawberry shortcake. Shots Kirby Sweet Squad. Yeah, right up here. Right past the sign. Is he getting the crash bomb here? He's not. Okay. He's getting it later, I guess. There we go. Getting the last little hidden snack. He just knows. Right in the corner. Hello, I'm back. And then, oh, he's going for this set instead. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome yeah, Mike. Back. I don't yeah, know what welcome. happened. <laughs> it's I don't know what happened. It's a mysterious place. It's like my like I can like watch the stream fine, but like like my like OBS and Discord stream was like, but we're back now. Mm, 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 mm. That's good. Oh, I missed this level, man. I love this level. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite this level is gorgeous, actually. I like it a lot. Yeah. Remember, it's remember so my first saw it in the trailer. It's like, oh. Hope Chat's not getting too spooked by his scary aliens over here. <laughs> also, as you get this Waddle D. Oh, one Waddle D right That's here. That's a tricky one. God, That's nice. a tricky one. Like especially for like That's blindfolded. Very Normally in this section, you're supposed to have that vending machine mouth and just shoot a bunch of like cans of soda at every single one of these cardboard cutouts here. There you go. But we skipped that entirely in the speed run. We don't need to do that. And getting that last ball of D is a little harder because you're supposed to destroy the three cardboard cutouts right in front of it and then like just jump to it, no problem. Yeah. But you have to like time that perfectly to get that. And it's a little, it's a little more tricky than, than it looks. So some will call it. call again. In invasion of the House yeah. of Horrors. It has funky music, really good music. <laughs> I'll say, you should get this game. This uh, game's really good. Yeah, it's this one of the best in the entire Kirby series. It really is. In my opinion. I gotta get a also Switch first. I will not lose my ability. You don't have, oh, well, you don't have a Switch? <laughs> wow, we need, a, we, need, we need to give you a Switch. What are, what are we doing out here? <laughs> Christmas, maybe. <laughs> well, let's like set up a, I don't know, like a funding campaign or something right now. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, this game's soundtrack is a banger, and especially World Three. They all have bangers, especially this one. <laughs> Let's just say the song, the songs you're currently not even hearing, and you will hear in this run are also really good. Trust me, all of them are great. <laughs> mm -mm. I had like the the Man Knight song in my head earlier in this game, just just randomly. It's a very very good song. I wish you had to fight Meta Knight in like any percent. That'd be really I think cool. You only do it in 100 <clears throat> percent. Yeah, because it's it's in the arenas. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's defending the town according <clears throat> to the lore. Lore. Yeah, you got lucky with those I spikes. I think sometimes those okay, spikes can. That's there's like a 50 percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just said it right there. Okay, <laughs> take the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. 50 percent chance. You yeah. lose your power there. And then 100 percent chance you lose a wall also, if you go it's really the right yeah here. that too. It's really scary, especially with like the spikes or like lava, because if your if your ability falls on that, then it just poofs away, it just goes away, it just breaks instantly. It's setting up. Are right, you setting up for this tornado? Are right, you going right on top of the platform? There, there that's perfect. Go. Uh, that's that's a lot safer than what yeah. we do. Very. Yeah, that's the like cool thing about slide so kicks too is that you can't fall off if you if you. If you start a tornado on the <laughs> ground, you actually can do a full tornado as soon as soon as you uh, as soon as the first tornado just like runs out. It's like right oh. there. That was a really good set. Uh, I got I, I got scared. I thought there. he was gonna fall in the mud. Not make that platform. Same. Do it right in that little corner. Oh. It looks like instead of the the, the elf limb poster there, you went you, you decided to go for the cage wall D before this whole area, which is probably a good, probably a good choice. I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Normally in eight percent, we don't get we get the elf limb poster on the side before we get out of that that room. And just it was just in. Uh oh. Oh yes. I get on the top platform, I believe. Oh. Or not? Nah, he's he's just jumping. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, hey. the robot. Thankfully, you can guard Thank those. Blocking is very yep. good. <laughs> I think there's also like a fifty percent chance we get hit by a robot. You also lose your ability. Is he gonna get the water? I don't think he's gonna. I don't think that's on purpose. I think he's trying to establish himself again. 
That's what's happening here. Uh... Yeah, we're good. Okay, he's, he's, ba he's back on track. There we go. There's usually like little things like grabbing a ladder in this case that like will let you know that you're on track if I run like this. Because sometimes if you get a little bit like off, off kilter like that, that's like the best way to really know you're like back back at it again. Mm-hmm. Normally, eight percent we do his fights uh, powerless, but for this run, ice makes things easy. Yeah. Gonna grab ice right here because I believe we need it for this next boss battle. Hmm. Just a little bit. Yep. Especially since this next boss is, I think, like our first case of like RNG yeah. in the run. She can like for the most swipe, part like one swipe. It's not that much RNG like a, in this run, swipe, which gives you, like, but the boss stars, are like which is usually really like, good. This but... specific boss has like probably uh, the most annoying RNG, him. I would say. Yeah, so she'll, she'll yeah. run towards you, then jump back, run towards you, jump back, do that over and over again. Yeah, or sometimes she can just like she can just stall you out and not like she's attack playing, for like. She's playing seconds, neutral over here. That's what she's doing. Yeah, yeah. It's like no, I'm not attacking. And like, it's like made to like lose thirty seconds in speed runs. It's annoying. Yeah. So yeah, her attack patterns are all random, except like the first yeah, two swipes. But after that, it's all random. Eh, a little I think the second phase is completely though. with ice. Though, but first yeah. phase is the most annoying part. We'll do the same trick we did earlier too, because uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Well, that's why we have ice. <laughs> ice is really good because yeah. Yeah, because ice has uh, you can get up, you can get all like all up close and personal it's with attacks, damage. and you can also guard when she does the swipe, so you will not take nice. any damage. Or so there we go. Did the same trick so really earlier. For that. We're just gonna uh, hold and she like also, and also guarding while attacking like, is really useful. Buttons while while tap and B over and over again. Let's go. If we tap too fast, we get like the dash check sort of ice attack, and we don't want that. I think he's listening for the swipes right here, especially. Yeah, so like she she does like she had two right there and then like a big normal yeah. oh. charge swipe. Sometimes she'll do that charge swipe after the two swipes. That's what we're looking at for. Oh, behind you. Very close to second phase. There we go. Yeah, she can be really annoying like right now. Oh, she just jumped away. Sometimes she just doesn't jump, sometimes she does, and then yeah, it's RNG. Oh, <laughs> RNG moment. In. Anyway, oh this one. Don't need ice anymore. Gonna suck up those swords, thankfully. Next one. Spit them out. These ones right here. Oh. Maybe not those swords. I think so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it missed. Is he setting no. up? No. Get it one more time. Oh, that's really cool. Ah, yeah, he missed the stars, right though. That's fine. He's gotta wait for like another attack then. Hmm. Yeah, so fun fact there. if those swords actually give you sword, I mean, yeah, <laughs> they give you sword. Um, if you add auto swallow on, if you sucked up like even one of those swords, you could have um, automatically sucked up sword. But we don't want that. That's why we turned auto swallow off at the end of the, at the beginning of the run. Not no, the blueprint. The blueprint. No. <laughs> Game over. Run invalid again. No blueprint. If only there was like some way, Elflin can like somehow be erased from like the story. So they won't warn us about blueprints anymore. Surely that cannot be possible, right? Anyway, yeah, this cutscene is pretty long, but we did have to go to back to the Waddle D town in the middle of World 3 anyways, because he had to get back his fire ability. So this cutscene not, is not as long now, because <laughs> we already like saw the cutscenes for unlocking the other stuff. This is technically half a cutscene. Yeah, this now. is technically half a cutscene yeah. now. <laughs> half a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> True. He's got yeah. it. Baldi Cafe. This is literally the the fast food simulator. It's great. Literally, <laughs> I think that's like the main reason that like that's like solidified me not wanting to work in fast food ever. I can't even mm -hmm. do that game like well. <laughs> It's hard. 
I, yeah. I cook a lot, honestly. It's hard to manage yeah. things sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Meta Knight! Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. Love I love Grammy Meta Knight. Award we all love Meta Knight. Grammy <laughs> Award winner. Ah, uh, he's gone now. You would never see him again, I don't think. <laughs> I miss Meta Knight. He's protecting the town, though. It's all good. Yeah. Can drill? Drill. Probably got oh, an no, accident. Okay. Yeah, it's really annoying to <laughs> accidentally get those power ups. But now we have okay. Tornado. All right, World 4. Also one of the best this, worlds in the game. Yeah, really good. Snow World. It's nice and snowy and chill. And this is one of the best songs in the game right here, too. I freaking love oh, this yeah, song really is. so much. I think this song was also featured in the 30th anniversary um, orchestra, too, right? It was. It was beautiful. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah, good thing about Kirby. Like One of my favorite things about like this series is that... The soundtracks never miss. They really, they really don't. don't. They're really good. That's why it's like one of my favorite Nintendo series. The soundtrack, the gameplay, uh, the lore. The lore. Yes, oh. the lore is very deep. You would be surprised <laughs> how Kirby deep Ro it is and dark it is. <laughs> Kirby lore runs very deep. Huh. I love wiggling. Okay. How Me many too. Levels are in this game? Uh, there's, there's actually 25 levels in this game. Six worlds and. Uh, last world has an extra level. It's there's a six five instead of just being four levels in a boss. And then if you count like the post game levels, which are like big like mega levels, I guess you would say. Thirty one at that point. Yeah, but those are like really big. Those are like three levels in one. Kinda. They're like, like five I guess levels length. in one. It's five great. levels, but like I guess in length maybe it's like three. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's six if you count the boss. He's just waiting for the cycle here. Yeah. That's the hard part about this level. There's a bunch of, or this room especially, there's just a lot of cycles you gotta deal with, so... Thanks for that to set for it, you know, it's like exactly like how long these platforms are tilting back and forth. Is there an audio cue for these platforms? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe the sound of the snowballs is going? I don't know, actually. I don't think there is. Maybe. God, this first part right here, though. Oh, oh, Ranger. Oh. That, that guy's name is Bernard or something. Bernard, the guy, yeah. The guy with the gun. His name Bernard. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I get the reference. And Whoa. he's gone. <laughs> that whole step was just to get on top of this light post right here. By the yeah. way, <laughs> that's what the whole step was for. Just to skip these two platforms. Oh. He's, I was wondering what he was bouncing. doing there for, for a bit. Oh no, he lost tornado. Oh, that's bomb. That is, that is bomb. That's fine. Thank you for this thing. If you get if you get one yeah. power, it won't, will not delete the other one. Yeah. That's the thing about the Kirby games, but not in this one. Based Kirby game. Hell yeah. It's got way a whole cycle now to get up there. <laughs> Unfortunately, our float only goes so high in this game. So yeah. But, that being said though, I forgot about this Waldy entirely, so he's getting he's this one real quickly. And Waldy's do make nice. sound when in cages like this, like, he, he was definitely listening for the sound there, didn't know where he was. They make a little like, when you're, when you're, when you're, when in the cage. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's like a time where I thought those were like the little birds making the sound on top of the cage. I actually didn't know it was the Waldy's making the sound. I thought it was the birds. The bird. Yeah, the little birds. <laughs> That are... I can see that. Yeah. Do the birds even have they're, a name? They're not actually named, by the way. Yeah, right? They, they don't have, have no a name. name. Uh... It's really weird. There's a platform down there? <laughs> I learned something new today. Yeah, speedrunner moment. There's a there's a thing there? Wow. That's literally me. Let's well, even casually. Uh, yeah, I like, watched like every oh, looking okay. crane of this, of this Oh, yeah. Map, right? I was playing... The, the, like, the level after this one, I was playing it casually. Like, I haven't played it casually since, like, the week the game came out. But I was, like, doing it the other day. And I didn't know there was an invincibility candy in this next level in 4-2 until like literally that like the other day. I was like looking around it. Like I totally forgot that was there. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to think like where, where it is. And I thought there was like yeah, a capsule there or something the whole time, but nope. Nope. Invincibility candy. Yeah. The good stuff. <laughs> I don't think we actually get it in this run. Actually, I don't know. Maybe in blindfolded. I'm not sure. Yeah, see, Aiden and Chad is also the same way. Aiden also runs this game. They know there's a platform there either. 
<laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> Alright, gonna do the the strat, which is this tornado over here. Alright, so we use tornado to get all the way across here to this clock tower right in the background. Normally you have to unlock the th the, the stairs to your right by hitting a few switches, but you can just do this and it's faster. And boom, even my blood at the level. Well, don't fall it's, off. It's so hard to get. <laughs> it's so hard to get that wall D with the tornado there. Oh, you might fall off. Oh. No, he's good. That's a, that's a setup. We're good. I'm, wait, <laughs> was going on the fence the setup or? I don't think so. I think I, that was. I just think it was. I think he was supposed to like go behind the. I don't know, but that was cool. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, this game is this game is only on the Switch. It's very uh. good too. Like, very, very good. No bias because we run it, but like, legitimately, I've run so many Kirby games. It's one of my favorite Nintendo series. This game is one of the best ones easily in the Kirby series. Yeah. It's really dang good, good. And it's worth hammer, the price. Yeah. It's my there's favorite. Like, there's like so much content in this game, too, that we're just not doing in this run because, well, we're doing the one thing in this run. <laughs> but yeah, very good video game. I guess there's one thing I should I mention will about Tornado is that. If you do a tornado midair and you try to do another tornado afterwards without touching the ground again, you'll do like a short like tornado that won't last as long. But if you start your tornado from like grounded and do another one after that, um, like while in the air, you get like a full tornado. Well, that's something that us speedrunners use sometimes to our advantage, or sometimes we activate tornado from the ground instead of the air to get uh, past like really far distances. This level, you get a wall D from staying on top of the two trains in this one room right here. So you're doing a step currently get on top of this one over here. Uh, Beautiful. Oh, Very nice. Getting Crash. Get crash bomber. Just and get taking a step for a mix yep. later. You might as well too. You got Drill earlier on in like World 2 for that very same reason. I think we're about to see that reason in the next few levels. Oh, I can't wait for that level. <laughs> we are saying uh, it's the level. The like level. Like probably the like level the thing. level of the game, probably. I would say so. Yeah. At least in the speed run. Like even casually, that level is like one of the best ones. It's very good. The soundtrack of crazy in that level. Oh yeah, that the soundtrack of that level is like the final boss theme, but jazzified. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the final boss theme of levels. <laughs> that make any sense? Don't worry about it. <laughs> There's a second train right there, and then we're just gonna go. You also sucked up the tornado there for the very same reason. Or not the tornado, the, uh, the hammer there for the very same reason. We actually in particular need that power very soon. Ah, so, yes. Yeah. The infamous hammer. You wouldn't think mm -hmm. hammer would be used in a speedrun. Like, for like movement and stuff, but you'll be surprised what it can do. <laughs> Never can do a lot in this game. Yeah. I guess definitely probably the best like power up. Like I guess for like utility wise it's probably the best. Especially it's one of my especially favorites. upgrade four for the hammer. You can do like basically anything. It really can. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's what we use in the truth experience actually for post game. Yeah. It's so good. That's why that run is so Not good. Because that ability is so good. Exactly. I, lo I, I love True, and I guess it's a fun category. For those that don't know, by the way, this game does have a post game, wants to be the, fi the final game. Oh, I'm back to Squish here. Oh no. Uh, heck. One more. You can't take one more of those either. Yeah, Squishing does like a ton of damage. I think like it's like the most damage like in the game, I think. It was Probably. A lot. Wouldn't surprise me. Well, there is one thing I'll that can there. insta kill you, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, True. Yeah. <laughs> We're not yeah. getting tired of that. Yeah. Looks like he's found his bearings right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's... Let's get on top of here just so we can do a tornado. That chili is so annoying. I do not like... Like, I like chilies, but that one is like the most annoyingly placed one for me. Agreed. And if you get hit by a chili frost breath, you 100% lose your ability every time you get hit by that. It's so a right over here. There is a weldy right up here that we can only really access with tornado because it takes us across the distance without losing heights. So like, now we're gonna get right there. Then there's also a hidden wall D by just going right into this little container, then just leaving. Yep. That's what we need to do. We, we checked inside there. There, there. there were boxes. Just so you know. 
we didn't get the capsule in the thing. Sag. Run over. Run invalid. Oh, uh, yes. Can't believe he just didn't get the cone and then like went underneath the icicle as soon as it like crashed down and get and got coins from it. Like why didn't you do that? Bro, I <laughs> oh, not bro, that, that was so insane when I first found that out. Like stuff is so well know, hidden right? in this game. I just I feel like there's like probably something else out there we don't know. But um, Probably. That's a new route, by the way. Um I am skipping two waddle D's on my older route now. Which is really Ooh. cool. Ooh. Hey, yo. I guess that's I guess I guess new routing there for his blindfold run. Because those two are like a little hard to get in the first place. So like, yeah, that's that's very good. <laughs> Where's Joey skipped? I wonder. Mm. Been, mm. It had to be it had to be for sure something in like this level or the last level, if anything. My guess mm. is probably one of the like values we get later in this level. Oh, this yeah. is a cool one up here. I'm I, I'm sure he's going for this because, but 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 yeah, there's a cave over here to the right. Oh, he's doing it. He's just going straight into it. There we go. There's a cave over here to the right that you need to go inside of. There's wind pushing you back the whole time. With tornado, you can, you can just do that, and then as soon as you get inside yeah. of it, you get the notification and you're good. Yeah, the game wants you to use needle for that or like fire, but you can just use tornado. And it works the same. It's way harder for tornado because yeah. it's hard to go inside the door itself. Yeah. Like, if you're off just a little bit, it'll bounce you far back, and they have to do that again. Uh, I know this room is also infamous because everyone keeps trying to skip it, but you can't skip the boat. <laughs> and not skip that the fence ring. That too big! <laughs> Why is that fence so big? <laughs> yeah, they just made that fence, like, infinite. Infinite wall. Oh. Oh. oh the tiny he, spot on the he's boat. On the boat. Boat's really cool. That was very cool. You go fast. Did you get a wall D? Did you get a wall D here from, yeah. from eating three meals at sea, three seafood, if you will? But the third one's actually right over here in the corner. Oh, is you, have to get out of the, you have to get out of here to. Oh, he's oh. not getting out of here. Never mind. That's a cool setup. That's cool. I, that's. All right. <laughs> yeah, just we're just gonna... for the rest of this. All right, there we go. Goodbye, boat. Oh, that's actually really cool. That's just, really cool. Did you, Chad, did you see that? That was cool. <laughs> Is there a wheel Kirby in this game? There's not wheel Kirby. Because the fast powers of this game are fire and tornado, typically. Yeah, I think we don't have wheel because we have car instead. <laughs> Our yeah, mouth. Exactly. Car Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. I hope the next game they have a uh, wheel, though. That'll be a really cool ability in 3D. Agreed. I want to see an upgrade wheel, too. Unless we have the car again <laughs> in the next one, I don't know. <laughs> make, it like, make it like a big truck tire. Yeah. Oh, that would be so sick, actually. Oh, that's so cool, actually. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you go all these in this room, occasionally right there, that's that's pretty easy to miss. There's one uh, right at the end of the room where you have to hop into, like, oh, a room and then just the leave. Okay. But, uh, we're gonna not do that Ooh, once we get there, of course. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. It's got a little set for this. All right, all right. Interesting setup here. Right He's gonna, there, but bam! But don't go into. Oh, oh wow! Oh, I I, I forgot there's like a little platform down there too, like below the second yeah, one. Actually. Yeah, we're just going top of the higher platform. So you can actually, faster. there's actually a hidden room down there. But if you like hop on one of those platforms, it just counts as you like if you went in the hidden room. You get the waddle D for that because it just does. <laughs> I'll talk. We have cans in the oh, chat. Uh, Jet deserves my love. Jet's very good. I, I love Jet. Jet. That's one of my favorites too. All right, let's set up the next next level though. Here you go. This is this is the real stuff. If this... y'all have y'all been falling asleep, pay, pay attention right now. This next level is really freaking cool, and he's gonna do it all blindfolded too. Not even not even knowing what's going on. So earlier on in the run, you got a few different powers to like set up for what's called a mix up here. The the mix itself is when you suck up two enemies at the same time. It'll, it'll give you like a roulette wheel of all the powers they've gotten in the game so far. That's, that's how it is in the case of Forgotten Land compared to other Kirby games. So, according, according to what I've been told before this run, uh, for this mix, it's going to be an auto mix. And as, it basically means as soon as he starts it, it'll, it'll go all the way to the power that we need, which is Hammer. Now, the reason we need Hammer right here is because there's a little glitch in this game called Hammer Super Jump, where if you uh, float until you get tired, then press B, press and hold B with Hammer, and as soon as... And as soon as it hits the ground, here's a mix, by the way. 
soon as it hits the ground here, uh, you press A to jump and you go really high up if you time it correctly. You need the frame perfect version of it here too to actually be able to do this. But in particular for this skip right here, which is also really hard to do with your eyeballs too, uh, he's going to be doing this. Uh, frame perfect jump right, right here, Close. and then suck up hammer way high into the air. Oh, I think he got there it. Go. Nice. There's HFJ right there. Also, yeah, you can just suck yeah. it up from there. <laughs> and then you just go, you just take the crampano all the way across the entire level into into this hard mode version of uh, four four, which you access through different <laughs> like go. and just so level. Hey yo, let's go. go. First done. first try. That's really good. That's epic. This this skips the entire level. He did that blindfolded. Yeah, we, we no eyes were used here. Yeah, so normally this level you gotta like go through a mini boss gauntlet. You fight four mini bosses, but nah, <laughs> no, we, we we just skip it all, you know, because First try because we that. can skip it, and it's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's really oh, sick. Dang, I missed this DDD though. Hold on. <laughs> now you gotta set up for the waddle Nice. There we go. <laughs> The bomb That's happy skip. One of the craziest skips in this game. It's so cool. Sorry, there's, there's a lot to explain leading up to that trick there. I had to like, as far as a bunch of word garble on coming out of my mouth right there, but like, <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> And that's not the Just last. Know, uh, ham hammer good, tornado good, oh, uh, level over. <laughs> and that's not the last we'll see of the infamous hammer jump. Which thankfully they no, we'll have never patched. Time. Thankfully they haven't patched this game at all. So I'm glad. I think this they game does not need it. I think they like the hammer jumps, which I agree. Same. Oh my god. <laughs> That's actually my first time doing that. Um doing that first try on a tomato without getting tomato because i don't get tomato anymore oh oh that's so beautiful let's go yeah so there's a, there's a wall d in that level uh at the very start of it in the very first room where you get where you get a, a massive tomato it's all you gotta do it's like hidden in the corner so that's what that's what referring to oh, so that's the one he there. skips okay yeah i forgot about that mm -hmm. one honestly that's that's a, that's a good one to skip now it's time to go back down, to the fire. Down for now, though. We're gonna be using fire for pretty much the, the rest of the run. The most technical fight into the most not technical fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, fire is very good, especially a volcano fire, which is a required upgrade. Either that or, of course, uh, chakra and fire, but you can go get chakra and fire. <laughs> yeah, you, I guess you literally just hold B here, and that's it. You guard sometimes oh, when he yeah, attacks, and then that's it. You, you just get the chill in this fight. <laughs> yeah, he's literally <laughs> just holding B. I love this. Can't do anything and if man. you just guard. Big brain. Honestly, though. And he had hammer because that's a Huge. waddle D, and you just suck, um, spit it back out. Free waddle D. Oh, yeah, I think he does go for the. He does get the boost shop unlocked. Here, oh, right? guard! There, perfect time to guard. Perfectly timed there. Also, this is like one of the best songs in the game, by the way. <laughs> So good. We actually get to hear like the epic part too. Yeah, you can hear his layers as well. And a few more, and boop, and, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah, like you said, like like one of the most technical fights with like claw line into this fight, uh, one of the most technical levels in general with like that last level there into mm -hmm. this fire just told me. <laughs> Yeah, it, <laughs> the contrast it's is definitely great. a much needed breather level after that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, we missed another blueprint. That's unfortunate. Oh, dang, dude. I was have a good day until he told me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where your day is about to get better. No, it got worse. Oh, well, oh. well for me, it got better. Okay, but maybe not for you. L4, no, <laughs> no oh, just, just kidding. I like Elflin. 4, four skip into <laughs> press B, DDD. <laughs> I like Elflin, but, but he just like... I just never break, okay? He just, he just makes me feel so much guilt for passing up the blueprints, you know? It's fine. <laughs> we'll get him later. It's fine. True. Right? Well, you? technically, you kind of skip the part where you save him. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But we do. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's like one of the funniest parts of the run too. One of It'll the best be parts fine. of the run. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. You skip that whole cutscene. 
<laughs> also, I love this level because it's like super like open world, like a little bit. Well, World Five in general is just great. Yeah, it's like I think this is my favorite level in the game. Casually, the speed run it's a bit of a pain, but this it's is very fast. Like an eight yeah. percent run. The only, only lol you would get in this round, just in this level rather, is like the one we just got right there, the squishy. Oh no, and also the the ring one up here. I forgot about that one. The worst thing about this level, unfortunately, is it's just the rap, is, or this whole world rather, is just the it's just the rare of bits because there's a lot of very slow LDs to get in World Five. So some of the ones we get here are gonna be a bit. It feel it feel like it'd be a bit slow. Like you normally just skip them, but overall, it turns out it does save more time than getting some of the alternatives. One case being uh, the one up here, the, the ring wall that you're gonna get soon. Might seem a little slow because the, the ring is right there. We gotta backtrack just a little bit to get the wall D itself, but it actually is faster. Faster than a lot of the wall Ds in this world. <laughs> Oof. I like how he dropped the ring right off the side there yeah. so he wouldn't accidentally use it. <laughs> Yeah, because like... It looks like a Mario Kart level. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, mouth modes can be like... The mouth modes can be annoying, like the ring, because like... It has like a really like wide radius of when you can like get it. Like if you press B, like near it, you just automatically like suck it up and it's a little annoying. And it wastes a few seconds. Speaking about, speaking about wide radius, that enemy right there you just killed, uh, the giant snake called Snacker. Uh, uh, they can also... Uh, eat you from a very wide range. Yeah, and they can eat, there's even this gigantic. one level where it can just eat you through the wall for no reason. It's because he's uh, too good, he's honestly. His... A skill issue. <laughs> one of my, it's one of my least favorite enemies, the snake. But I, the snake's cute, at least. He's cute. He's just evil. He's very evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Snacker. He's also With, like, very three glad. S's. We appreciate him. Snacker. Favorite Kirby game? Someone just asked for yeah, favorite Kirby. Uh, my here. personal favorite is Superstar Ultra. This game's like a close second. Mm. I would say this one's and my favorite. And Robot as well, too. And Robot. I would say this one's my favorite, but if we're not counting this one... Um, also, I don't know if he meant to go into solo or not. He did not. He'll, 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 he'll see Yeah, he'll, he'll figure it out. That this is, and you know, it sucks, too, because this level has the same music as the other one, so we can't tell. <laughs> Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> so he cannot tell. Uh -oh. I think he tried to input. Yeah, he tried to input to the right there, but I guess it was yeah. a little bit early on the input, so it didn't, didn't do it properly. Yeah, yeah, he looks very confused right now. <laughs> yeah, he realized like, right, God, this is there, not though. the right level. Hold on one second. Yeah. So favorite Kirby game? I, I, I probably. Uh, I, I think I basically the only like mainline games I haven't played are. Return nice. to Dreamland, Triple Deluxe, okay, and well, Planet Robobot. Great. I played all the other mainline. Not counting oh, the not counting the not counting the remakes though. Robot's so good. Yeah, I know Robot's really good. I can't wait to play Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Same. Actually mm -hmm. same. <laughs> I've never played Return to Dreamland. But like, I know I know what like it is and like what's in it, but never played it before. Same here. Mm -hmm. Should be a lot of fun, honestly. I'm looking forward to I it. I do like Kirby's Adventure. That was my first Kirby game, and my first game in general. My first one was Nightmare in Dreamland. Actually, mm -hmm. technically it was Tilt and Tubble, but I didn't really start <laughs> enjoying it until Nightmare in Dreamland. Yeah. I remember I was like probably like five years old when I first played Kirby's Adventure. It was on the also, Wii. Also, real quickly. Yeah. Uh, we go, we go, we get, we sleep here to go fast. We get a wall deep by doing this. Plus, also the cage wall deep in this room. Which I think is great that sleep is actually used in the Kirby speed run. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really funny. It's useful. And like that's like one of like the like like the one D like that has never ever changed. You always get that sleep one. It's always been there since the beginning. I'm so glad. <laughs> the sleep, optimal the optimal friend. sleep. There actually is like optimal sleep, right? No, you mentioned that. There, there is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you actually mash out of like the like the the, the snot bubble he, he, he puts up there by like spinning your stick really fast. Yeah. So there is optimal sleeping in this game. Ah, oh, just oh, barely missing that. Um, okay, it's time it's... <laughs> Also, I love Crystal Shards as well, too. Six oh, yeah, that's definitely great. probably my second favorite. I actually never beat the final boss, though. Mm. So Ooh, I, need like to, I, need, I need to get back on that. I need to... Cause like I, the true final boss? Yeah, the true like final Miracle boss. Matter? The true final boss. Oh, yeah. I've only beat Miracle Matter. Thankfully, it's on the... 
what is it, the... Oh yeah, N64 now, I can do it. Yep. N64 online. Yeah. Remember, I, when I played, I also played um, Dreamland 3. I never beat the final boss there either, but... And then... That's a hard but one. But then it came out on the Switch, and I beat it. Very satisfying. The <clears> best ending <throat> credits in that game yeah. are so good. <laughs> they really are. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, is this, the is this the return of the best mouthful mode? Perhaps? I think so. I think so. But for now, we got to do a little skip up here to skip using drill to get to get to this uh, little area up here to get this wall D. Yep. Or rather, oh, the, the, the nice. The there. there we go. Barely got it. Barely getting that. So th this this whole thing here, you might think is a little slow to get in general, but actually it, it's overall fast because, like I mentioned, there's a lot of really slow wallies in World 5 Yeah, here. World 5 has a lot of slow so, ones. So like here, just defeating these two poison crocums is a hidden wall D, which is good. And also behind the last poison crocum, and like right in front of him over here, there's a, another wall D, which is overall just that's two in like about 40 seconds and 8% usually. So like, it's still pretty good. Yeah, they tried to route these ones off, but no avail. We still get no, those. We've tried. <laughs> if only There's a few th that are close, but it's not enough. Yeah. Another one of my favorite levels coming up next as well. I love five four as well. Yeah, five three and five four are both good. good levels. I don't know. <laughs> like world five is my favorite world, definitely. Casually, at least, it has the best levels in my opinion. World 3 for me. Yeah, World 3 is good too. I love Daria. No, I just like World 5. I just like... 5 2 is like... It's good. It's not my favorite, but the other three are really good. Absolutely. <laughs> but you got, another level, you got another level ball right here. That's always nice. Yeah, I love this one. Second location. The music is so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. So dang good. For now, there's just silence in this first room, though. Just... Yeah. Of this ambience. So, <laughs> and now the, the cool song. That's, that's, yeah, here it is now. The only wall D you really get in this level is the uh, the three ice cream one. And whenever I do marathon runs of this game, I always like to ask people what's their favorite like type of ice cream when we get to this part. So uh, what's your favorites? My favorite? Probably cookies and cream. I love oh, cookies and cream. Classic. I've always loved cookies yeah. and cream. I'm I honestly think I'm going to go the same. Oh yeah, chocolate chip cookie dough is great. Oh, cookie dough is really good that's too, actually. Favorite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's my favorite. So many good <laughs> <Cookie> ones. <laughs> also, low, low key birthday cake, really good ice cream as well. <laughs> what about cake, you, birthday Chat? Cake, birthday cake. Oh yeah, speaking of birthday cake, there was a. Uh, I think there was like an. You know, how, like Oreo makes all these weird Oreo flavors. There was one called birthday cake. And I tasted it. Delicious. I did not like it at all. <laughs> oh no! I didn't <laughs> like it at all. I, I don't know why. I just didn't think, the, That's I didn't think it tastes good. It's better, and better than ice cream. There, there's so many weird. Form. There's so many weird um, um, Oreo flavors. I'm pretty sure there's w a wasabi flavored Oreo too, which is crazy. Oh, uh, why? I don't oh, know. I think, yeah, it only, think, it, think I have no clue. I think it only came out in like I don't know which country. Like Japan or something. I think it only came out there though. But yeah, there's like so many weird Oreo flavors. Mm. Ah, pack those. I'm seeing like moose tracks. That's a great one too. I like moose tracks. <laughs> let me look. Let me look some up here. Flapjack ice cream. Oh, it's flapjack ice cream. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, gonna, oh, oh no! He swallowed sleep by accident. This is this is not oh, this is not please. optimal sleep. Okay, oh. come on, let's go. Oh. There you go. Okay, you got, got it just fast enough. <laughs> That's where you don't want to get close. sleep. Uh, and the Pacto got him again. I like Pacto. Those are cute, but you know. Agreed. Shout out to Dream on Three. That's where they came from. One more ice cream right over here in this little box. We become the nice. ice cream now. We are the ice cream. We are the iced cream. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Also, going go back real quick, what's that? Someone in chat says flapjack ice cream. What, what is that? I've never heard that before. Flapjack ice cream. That's interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> Root beer float Oreo. So true. Ooh. That does sound good, though. And then there's one I called. Oh, since we're in 5-3, if you all can hear me. 
Cookie dough, birthday cake, uh, rocky road. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> God let, actually... my, God let my ice creams be known, because that's always the question in this level. There you go. I started something good. Uh, <laughs> just freaking out about sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that sleep moment. I actually never fried birthday cake ice cream. It makes sure. You go your little Batsman Robbins. It's very good there. <laughs> it's not my favorite Oreo, though. I actually like the golden Oreos a lot. I think I just like the classic Oreos, honestly. There was very, very one good, that was like really good. I forgot what it was called though. I think it was only limited time though. Totally forgot what it was called. There's so many flavors. But that was really good. Oh, there's a cherry cola Oreo. Interesting. There's a fruit punch Oreo. That's probably good. Fruit punch? Oh yeah, the buttered popcorn Oreo. It's so weird. I like popcorn a lot. It's like top 10 favorite food. But an Oreo? I don't know. Also, interesting. this is like, this level is like kind of already like a blindfolded level because it's so dark. It's true. This is double, we don't even use light bulbs for it either. It's double the dark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the most part, at least. <laughs> Once again, we, we use light bulb Kirby there. We had to, it's just unlocked the one door that we needed for. But after that, if we, if we don't want to go, we don't need it anymore. Oh. Astro course use fire. Is fire good? Fire good. Lifts bad. Brew. Spitting honestly. Mm -mm -mm. I get this. I'm gonna jump this gap. And I use. There's actually a the few uh, posters saying up. Uh, posters wall these are saying up for, and they include the posters right here. We got one early on, like in, in the very uh -huh. in the last room, and then one right there, and then one in the last room here too. Also worth noting. In this level, oh, yeah. we get like most we get like most of the uh the wall D's here in general. Yeah. That's kind of how world five is. There's like like five one and five three we get like one, and then like the other two levels we get like most of them. Also worth noting. Here's one of the best that, song um, right oh, yeah, this song this song is really this is really good. Um that Kirby has like a limited amount of like float time. And if you use like fireballs in the air, that also reduces your float time. So usually like after two fireballs, you start to lose your flow and you can't like float up anymore. So that's why sometimes when he bonks in the wall with fire, after he's like done it like twice already, he usually just falls off. Cause you have no more float left. Same with some abilities too, like tornado also reduces your float. Once you use it once, I think Needle doesn't do that though, which is why Needle's the best. Let's go. Let's go, Needle. Let's go. <laughs> Needle's the best. Another Arc Mouth section. Needle gang, Needle gang. Surely the audio will not cut out this time. <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Not during this good song. E come on. <laughs> Heck yeah. Not during the good music. Yeah, but this one's actually really cool. Oh. <laughs> you I forgot. You, you kind of just. That's too jamming. <laughs> you kind of just. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Kind of just stay in one spot. And then you just let the wind take you. And you bounce up. Wind beneath your wings, if you will. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You get to listen to this beautiful song. Oh, That's yeah, one of the best parts about oh, this level, yeah, is just yeah. the fact that the song plays is really good. And then there's this section here you can't speed up. You have to listen to the full song. That's great. You're forced to listen to this masterpiece. Enjoy the music. <laughs> Oh, almost got bonked there. You can actually bonk on that little ledge there, and it sends you back like 10 seconds back. It's annoying. Also, yeah, Arc Mouth I hitbox really big. It's got that Waddle Dee from under. I find I find it happened before where I hit the very bottom of, of that of that floor and hit. I just barely hit one of the bones that's sticking out of there, and like it, oh, yeah. it sent me back by 10 seconds. Yeah, it's so annoying, and it sends you back so much. Some places don't, but that one does. Uh, is it gonna get ice here? I don't remember if he no, does. It's not. He's no, yeah, to get the, uh, he, the cactus triplets. Yeah, I think which I think, he's yeah, right there. I think there I think go. he used to do ice in one of his old routes, but I think it's just fire now, right? Yeah, fire is pretty good fire, in general for yeah. the next boss. Or maybe for a little silly. Silly. This guy is very silly. He is just he's a very so he's just a silly little guy. Get to see him so right bad. now. He's just silly. Huh? He's just, he's just a bit goofy. And we like also, that. Just, we just love just that. Uh, runner cannot see. That's the point of the blindfold. 
But also, like, his 8% PB is, like, I want to say about 25, 27 minutes faster than his blindfold time. Yeah. And he's not doing those strats, I'll tell you that much. I would know. I have, this, have a good time 8%. This man well. is number four on the leaderboards for regular any percent. So he's yeah. very skilled. So he, this, 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 he's, he's built different. <laughs> built different. Not even I'm... Well, I haven't even done any percent once, but... Constructed yeah. abnormally. <laughs> All right, it's time to fight the Goofy himself. The silly goofy fella. The embodiment of silliness. That's true. The person he's been drawing all the posters everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Cool little lore tidbit. If you look to the right, if you look to the right real quickly over here, you see like a bajillion Curry posters. See like right there, over there. See that? There's a lot of those. He drew all those. He truly is a great he's artist. Rid of them too. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Kirby. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely. Uh, he, he, he definitely mm, rode that one. In. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. There you go. First anyway, not too bad. He, he tries to cage you. Let's you cage him. Yeah, I don't think you can guard that either. You gotta jump over it. You, you, you like dodge back. You can dodge, but, like, but you can't. Is faster. But guarding won't help you there. You just get caught if you guard. Exactly. <laughs> It's a little bit of both, muscle memory and audio cues. He's done a lot of these blindfold runs. Like, this, this yeah. is legitimately a really impressive blindfold run. <laughs> Crazy. Yes. Yeah, so, he does a second phase here. Uh, just has to block those attacks when, he's going, when he rolls right towards them. That's about it. Nice. It's basically the same strat to do in, eight, in like regular, like, visual 80%. Third phase, he actually, he actually teleports you, you a bit closer to him, and he's going to do a little set right to start of it to go to the right here, I imagine. Yeah. Because he's gonna like go back and forth Ooh. over and over again in this section here. Of course, you think he got caught in the middle here, but it's fine. It's all right. He's gonna stop right there. Yeah. If you if you go and like then... if you hug Silly Diddle, he will not be able to hit you with the uh, dancers, which is cool. Okay, he's gonna do the same thing right here again. It's almost done. Just needs, needs a few more hits. This guy is bozo. Oh, there we go. There we Fire go. damage, finishing Very him off. Nice. Just run based off smell cues. Imagine in the future <laughs> where the games just have smell now. We'll have smell o vision. 40, 40 games. 40 games. Let's oh, go. <laughs> Soon you'll be able to feel the game and not just controller Ooh. vibration. <laughs> you'll just be I able to feel Kirby. it. <laughs> Kirby's real. Also, oh, notice that so no one told us to about the blueprint because Elflin's gone, so, you know. I miss Elflin. You know what? I won't be nagged. I'm probably nagged about the blueprint so bad. I'm starting to miss Elflin too. Maybe, maybe. Surely we'll end up saving them though, right? Yeah. Elflin's uh, a good lad. They deserve okay, to be well, saved. Six, um, lots of cycles on this level. So, um, also my least practiced. It's still gonna be decent, but uh, one cycle mess up and it's just kind of like I get lost in the sauce. Yeah, World Six is a, just a heads very up. hard world. In regular any percent too. It's very tricky. And in blindfolded, world. it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, that cutscene was just, hey, you unlocked gotchas. And then that's it. You can go to world six now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Also, I feel like the song is underrated. I love this song in this level. It is very good. It's basically like an more it's an evil version of the first song in the game. In the first level. That song, Wait, but it's more right? evil. Ooh, sinister. Ooh, sinister. Lob everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, one of the waddledies just the. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Just, wow, he just. I don't even do that in 8%. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I want the waddledies to get yeah, those see, whoopies out. In this first level, or in this first uh, room here, you have to get, you have to destroy two of whoopies that are on top of these like guard towers. And that first one there, that fireball slam was kind of nuts. I don't even do that normally with my, with my eyeballs. I just like fireball over to him. The good thing about and lava, right. like the lava splotches Ooh. on the ground, if you get hit by it, you don't lose your ability. Oh, he's not dead. I don't remember. Oh, okay. he died. He, 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 I, I guess like, yeah, a volcano fire has like the lasting burning effects if you hit something. So oh, that is true. I guess that's what killed him there. Boom. This one is really tricky. He has the cycles here. Gotta make these platforms. Oh, okay. I'd be still good though. Thankfully, that lava will not carry your power. Yeah, ever, which is very convenient. 
Yeah, lava oh. doesn't get rid of your power. Poison does, though. Poison obliterates your power. Yeah, and if your power falls in any of them, they just get destroyed. So, yeah. Nice. Very good, very good. Nice. Yeah, these fireballs are going to be raining down here, so we got to be careful with that. They also let you, they also get rid of your ability. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's 50-50, though. I think it is, yeah. yeah. Imagine it's Kirby's Forgotten Land Virtual Reality. You know, <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. There is that for Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. And funny enough, that patch actually made like load times for both those games faster. <laughs> it's had Labo that's, VR. That's so like, funny. <laughs> like, compatibility. This game needs Labo VR now. Agreed. Faster load times, please. Please. No, no, more, no more physical and digital difference. I don't think that's going to get rid of it, honestly. Yeah, probably not. It won't. It's pretty tame for this game, too, all things considered. It could be way worse. Oh, make it across that gap? Oh, no. Oh, oh barely. Okay, cool. Now he's in. Okay. Low on uh, health. That's a bit scary. Hopefully, be fine. Hmm. Also, yeah, I like to call this whole world Florida, because this is basically just Florida. I don't see any difference. Perf. I don't see any difference. <laughs> this is Florida. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I remember the apocalypse happening in Florida. It was crazy. Oh, I hate World Six. Oh my. Gosh. I hate Florida too. Don't worry. I can I can say that because I, I live in Florida. <laughs> hmm. Actually, actually, I probably like, no, I'm I probably. It just looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably like the only actually like Florida. Hmm. I'm probably like the one person in Florida who likes Florida. I just like how it's so like hot. Been. I just don't like the cold at all, so this the fact that it's always hot brutal. is cool. The first room has way too California. cycles. Um, Let's go SoCal. Oh. And I kind of forgot some of my stuff. Yeah, so someone asked in chat differences between digital and visible uh, for, for, for first games. It's just load times. For this game, it's, it's actually not too bad, because the only thing that affects your load times are the pre-render cutscenes, just for this one. But for other Switch games, like, it's... So like I think in this case like there's like 40 seconds of difference between digital and physical. It's really not that bad for this one compared to other Switch games where usually it's like multiple minutes. Also yeah, the the runner is muted right now. Uh, it's deafened so he can't hear any of us. Whenever he, the runner talks, uh, it's just like he, he uh -oh. can't hear us at all. He's just hit. It's just him talking. Just trying to like say something real quick or like you know saying words, just reacting normally like you would. But he's currently muted on Discord. Like we, we can't hear him. He can't, uh, we we can hear him, but he can't hear us. Okay. Oh man, these cannons are really annoying. Yeah. See what's left from dying here. Hopefully it'll be fine. Is he gonna, is he gonna go for power? this? I don't think he's gonna. I don't know. Is he? Yeah. Crash already exploded. I don't think he can. Yeah. This first from a six. I feel like that like crash. Hard I feel like that crash shot will be really tricky though. I don't know. It it may, be, maybe yeah. not. I mean, this guy is like cracked and everything, and like blindfolded. So maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe he could do it eventually in a run. Possibly. Yeah. At least for now, though. Yeah, I'm blamed for not doing that one. So for those that don't know, uh, uh, for the actual aim percent spear in this game, what we normally do here is we use that like, crash bomber right before the fight here to explode Mr. Frosty there, and it gives us a wall of D. However, that being said, we cannot do that, and <laughs> we, we cannot do that blindfolded because, or at least not right now. Because well, uh, it's really hard. The way we normally do it in eight percent is we we uh, leave the fire like towards the very bottom of that area and then like suck it up from way high up after we explode Mr. Frosty. And like it's it takes a, a certain step to do that and you have to be very fast. So it's really hard to do that. That being said though, he did he did get one wall in that last room, which was getting two of the uh, the meaty meals that the, the woofies left there. So that's at least good. And yeah, it looks like he's going to be getting the swan down, down here. here. Good if one. he can fall off, there you go. Thankfully, in World 6 as well, there's a few different wall that are pretty interchangeable in terms of time, so that's one of them right there for for sure. Ooh, ice cream. I think that ice cream grab is intentional, actually. You, you take a lot of damage in this uh, Link World 6, like there. <laughs> Random stuff can come out of nowhere. And there. Oh, that's bad if that falls down. Got it. Brother cannot see in general. Trust me, we, we know he's good because he's playing way better and way differently. His, his aim percent time is just the leaderboard. 
wall seeing, so he cannot see, trust me. He's worked very hard in this run. Oh, he's going for this. Oh, oh here we go. This shot's cool. This is great. Usually you, so, you need the boat, but we say no to the boat. This is slower, but it looks way cooler. <laughs> Swag strat. And bam. There we go. Perfect. That's so cool. <laughs> Swag strat. It's also probably easier to do it. The boat can be a little, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. Mm. This next level has a banger song, though. This is one of my favorite levels in the game, too. Got six oh, three. Yeah, the power plant's great. Burning, churning power plant. Now, there's a Waddle D here that... If you... There's a Waddle D for not getting crushed here. Um, Though, judging by the nature of the blindfolded run, I'm not sure if... He, I don't think he gets that in the route because he's blindfolded and it's really hard to see if you're gonna get crushed or not. So probably you can't hear it. And that too, you cannot hear him. <laughs> I don't think, at least, or very quiet. You can hear like like yourself being crushed. I don't think you can yeah. hear like the the, the things closing yeah, up right thing, here. Yeah. That being said, though, its first room should be relatively simple for this at the very least. I'll be really surprised yeah, if like he does get through this without getting crushed. He might. He might. <laughs> you also get three cups of coffee here too, which yeah. gives, which gives you another Waldy. Also, there's this. A little thing. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> you're supposed you, to, you're... yeah, go like under to break those boxes, but you can break the boxes from the top with like fire. It's for some reason. Right there, you saw the control room for just mm -hmm. one second, and just left to give him, give him a Waldy. Another yeah. quick one too. Hmm. All right, Elsie's more picking up some here. coffee. I don't like just coffee. Gonna wait. I Same. think coffee tastes bad, but that's just me. I'm a, I'm a tea guy personally. Yeah, I like tea. He's cool. All right. All, all I drink wait these here. days is either water or iced tea. That's all I drink. <laughs> okay, I think that's like the last possible room he could have got crushed in, so he got that D. Oh, one more. I think he crushed in the last room, if I recall. Can, can you? you? I don't think so. I don't think there's like a crusher. Oh, yeah, I guess you can get crushed in oh, this here, room. Oh, here. Yeah, you can crush Yeah, but he's yeah. We're too fast, though. Yeah. We have too much speed. Which reminds me of that one room That's in. That's what I call it speedrunners. This level reminds me of the level in 64, the factory. Absolutely. Love the best that level. In that, game too. that was the best level, in my opinion, probably. I love that level so much. It, it's great. I, I agree. <laughs> Fun fact as well too, the lava will not give every power, no matter what. So you just kinda have it hops on top of it and just just to avoid it. Ice cream. And then, damn, Waldy right there. Oh damn, is he gonna good. do the funny bonk though? The funny bomb happy bonk. Oh no, he won't. Sag. Dang. There's like a bonk he does where you like fire dash on like the certain part of the wall, it bonks you forward instead of backward sometimes. That's what he calls the optimal bonk in his words. And we didn't get squished. I'll say he did not get squished there. So there you go. I wonder if he had a backup D to get squished. Probably. Probably as a backup D. Hope they have enough Waddle Ds. They should. He should have enough, Just yeah. Clueless. He should. I hope so. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's definitely. Especially since <laughs> I got a perfect Tropic Lid somehow. Oh, he did, didn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. He, he, got, no, he got all of these in Tropic Woods. So right here, you need 145 all Ds to unlock the wall D shop. If he's a little low in it, we'll, we'll see right now. Nope, we're good. Yep, it's unlocked there in the corner. I, I figured that too, because like he was doing very well in the boss fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, 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 three, he's three over. Which doesn't matter. Because oh. <laughs> yeah, he, so he's got extras in the fights that don't waste time. What we're going we're gonna to be doing is getting uh, a few different... Yeah, I think in this case you just gain like two attack ups and it's in like two speed ups, which we're gonna we do in eight percent. Didn't know if he would get a third speed up considering blindfolded, but we'll see. I, mean, I, do, I don't. I think he's just doing doing the uh, the two the two two strat because he doesn't have, doesn't have enough for a, like a fifth one. 
Yeah, so you would think that going all the way back to town and buying this would be slower, but it's actually faster. The speed boost like it increases saves, your speed by a significant amount. It saves over a minute. Yeah. Just to give you an idea. So like when this when this was first found, like way early into this game's life cycle, we thought like this was like surely this can't be faster. No, it's like it, it saves like two yeah. minutes compared to not doing this. Yeah, especially the attack buffs, because they melt bosses if you have an attack buff. It like destroys Absolutely. them. It can beat them way so faster. In this, in particular, by the way, the speed buffs only affect your like ground movement more than anything else. So like you're not gonna go faster yeah. with a speed boosted fire like fireball, for instance. Yeah. However, you, also, you could in needle. Like this, you can see right here in the wall detail, town the speed boosts and the speed buffs and the attack buffs are not going off. Same as the overworld here. It only goes off during levels, and of course when you're unpaused. And like not during load zones. Yeah. So like it's pretty lenient. Yeah, so speed buff affects your movement and like your psychic movement. It doesn't have the, some abilities it doesn't affect. Like it doesn't work like for fireballs, like your fireballs don't go further or faster. Or nor your tornado doesn't go faster, but there's some abilities like needle. Where if you use needle, your your needle actually attack becomes like faster. That's why needles are one, one of the crash here? Yeah, it's going so. for crash. That's why needles one of like the yeah, best abilities. Call. Oh, you get the gotcha? No, no, no. he's too good. <laughs> he's too good. This strat's cool. Kind of just blow him up. <laughs> yeah, with the attack boost and crash here. Yep. Uh, if you hold, if you hold crash for a bit, you do more <laughs> powerful attack and just one shot score, Mondo. See ya. Yep. And that's yeah. If you didn't have attack boost there and you just regular like use crash normally, you would have to wait for him to stop spinning and that waste like ten seconds. So attack boost is fun and good and saves time. Speed boost, absolutely. Speaking of saving time, the speed boost yeah. also affects Carby. Ah, uh, yes. So, and it goes really go fast. fast it goes really fast here. Is he going to do the like the reverse try right here? Ah, uh, he doesn't. He's going to go around. That's fair. Oh, oh too early. Oh, he fell off. Dang. But he knows where he respawns, oh. so we're good. Yeah, thankfully, oh. they, they like oh. make you respawn where you like you last were, which is neat. I'm surprised he, he like knows where when to turn. That's what I'm like impressed. Sure. He like he just knows when to turn. That's insane. Same. Yeah. Like maybe he counts in his head. Like I don't know, it's crazy. So I'm assuming he's gonna go mm. for fire for the rest of this. Because he gets there's, there's a firepower like right over here. Okay. Or does he go for drill here for, or not? I doubt he goes for silly drillo. <laughs> I don't I think he said he didn't go for silly drillo. Oh wait, unless oh unless a hey, yo oh. Oh, he's doing okay. it okay. All right, so we'll explain after. This is, this so is silly really drill cool. is cool. You just do this. All right, uh, bam! Almost, almost. Get That's it? still good oh, though. Barely. That's still good. All right, so with the attack boost plus the speed boost there, if you if you get drill and then draw like a a really long pattern on the ground like that, like what it takes up most of of drills, like kind of. Like attack lifespan, I guess is what you call it. Like when it takes a while, there you do like a lot of damage. The more distance you cover, and, and like the more damage you do with, with that like earthquake attack that that's, that drill has. So if, that plus the attack buff there will, if you do it correctly, position it absolutely correctly, will if will one shot uh, that boss there, which is ridiculous. It was very close that time. Sometimes it's it's pretty thick. Sometimes it just won't work. But yeah. And there's another really cool. there's another boss where we use the drill strat too, though it's really annoying. And I don't know if he goes for it in the blindfolded runs. I think he goes for ice in that one. Yeah. Which is way simpler. Yeah. Like, even without oh. even with eyes, <laughs> doing the drill strat on that boss is really, really hard. The forego DDD. Agreed. I haven't been able to do it once. I grinded the crap out of it at one point, and now I can do it more consistently, but it's really hard. <laughs> that time is with like a lot of the strats in this game, for better or for worse. That's okay. Now, thankfully, we're time. gonna refight Claroline here, but this time without RNG. <laughs> so, Hooray. yay! We technically start in the second phase here, because she's gonna go up, up here mm. and just start like throwing stuff at you. Then okay, we're gonna do ice strat. We're gonna freeze her up. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. It does a ton of damage. This level is 6 4, by the way. Second last mm. level in the game. Yeah, 6 4. This level is very tall. 
<laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> Took me a second. Mm. Oh, we haven't seen anyway. anything coaster yet. Yes. Coaster is also their auto scroller uh, power, I guess. This is like one of the well, best if ones, I, too. If I could maybe interject for a moment since we're on this Go roller coaster. <laughs> Uh, I just want to say a big shout out to all of our supporters, uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered here on the GDQ Twitch channel do help support Games Done Quick, both with Hotfix, uh, including this show and with AGDQ 2023 costs. So please consider subscribing if you do enjoy your daily dose of GDQ. And if you'd like to follow all things Games Done Quick, use the command exclamation mark links in the Twitch chat for access. And uh, I just want to say that uh, you both are doing a great job commentating this. And uh, of course, you know what Bomb's doing, very impressive. But thank you all for being here. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. This has been really good. This is, my, this is my first time ever commentating GDQ or just being like in the GDQ channel in general. So it's been really yeah. good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And that level's over. Sadly, no more roller coasters for us to run, but you know. We'll just, we'll just live with it. <laughs> I love those little Spain dubs, it's so good. <laughs> so we get like almost every single wall of D in that level. There's only one we don't get, and that's like after Qualler Line. Yeah. That's how it is normally too, and ain't like regular visual any percents. We just get just so many wall of D's in these last few levels. It's it's awesome. Cause we need if I recall 33? 32. One of those. For for this entire world right here. 32. It was 32. Uh. Yeah, you need 32 out of 61 total wall of these in this world to actually unlock the, final, the, the boss at the very end of it. This level's interesting because, I mean, this world is interesting because it also has an extra level. Most worlds have four levels in the boss. This one has five in the boss. This is the fifth level of world six. And this level's really big. It's really long, too. Very That's really, epic, really though. cool. Yes, that was very epic. Very tricky, too. Oh, yeah, remember the hammer jumps? They're gonna come back. Let's go. Our friend HSJ. HSJ. Hammer, Hammer Super Jump, baby. Song also is really good. I love the song. Love the part where it sounds like an elephant just kind of tooting. <laughs> the first when I Great. when I first heard the first two beats of the song, I was like, it literally reminded me of like the Bowser's theme from Galaxy, Mario Galaxy. That's what it sounds I can like. See that. I was like, -na 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 -na. and that's what I thought it was at first, but nah, then it changed up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, right, right after, that, after that first part there, we get Tornado. Alright, that's Tornado. <laughs> we get a hammer. Alright, let me just start over again. <laughs> Alright, so we get we get, a, we get a wall of D from, that, from defeating all the enemies in that first area, and then we take the, the, uh, the hammer enemy and just get it real fast, and just get a hammer there, and use that for just this whole section. Looks like he's conserving speed boost by using the uh, the scissor mouth here too. Or scissor lift rather. Words are hard. <laughs> what are words? I imagine he's probably also getting this one. He's not getting that one there. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if he's getting in that case. Because mm -hmm. he's down to one wall of D from earlier. He skipped one of them. Interesting. Alright. I think here is when... Yeah, he's going to take care of these enemies. He didn't get the needle out, but, but it should be I fine. I think the needle will not bother him. The bunny is like a really annoying one. Agreed. There we go. Here's another hammer super oh. jump. Oh, he missed it. So oh. the idea here is he's gonna as, as soon as Korea gets tired and starts like losing heights, he's gonna press and hold B, press A at the right time, and that happens. And boom, you you, you just you there. just launch right up. So well, normally like just, there's a room down there you're supposed to go through that takes like a minute, but no, I can just skip it. <laughs> you can just skip it. You can just do that. We don't need to do it. <laughs> yeah, who cares about that room? The section two, you can just kind of float over this whole area, which I didn't know casually. <laughs> I thought I thought it'd be something stop me, but yeah, you need to do this. Uh oh. Ooh, close. That's nah, fine. Just just spawn back <laughs> over here. Ah, uh, these snakes, the snackers, the snackers. That's what they're called. All right. So there's a few ways to do to, to skip this room here, but he's going for the more conservative yeah. way, which is to go inside. Like there's the more safer way in general, which is just to go inside here, and then do another yeah. hammer super jump, and then go right on top yeah. and go into the loading zone behind him. Because the door actually closes behind yeah. you, as you can see right there. Yeah. 
You could also hammer jump to the Waddle Dee, but this is faster and it's also cooler. You it can just jump cool. over this and the door open, and then you can just... There's like a loading zone back here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, so cool. and it acts like you completed the, the, the level and it goes down. <laughs> yep. Because normally, be, normally they beat that room and also the, the room we skipped earlier too. We have to get the wall of the, like the cage wall of the, the very like start of it. That's like way above where it can reach. But uh, we're good. <laughs> we can do that. Just get the loading zone. We're good. Oh. Night. Oh, was he supposed to? Oh, no, he's good. Uh. Yeah, he's good. I, I imagine he didn't need hammer anymore. Yeah, I think he's. Yeah, you don't really he's need an the ability ice. here. Yeah, plus he's an ice as well too for DD. Then you get that before the fight. Anyway, so it's fun. the last arc valve section. Say goodbye to these. Enjoy it while it lasts. Very final. No, one right no here. audio cut off, please. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you actually need to switch all of these. Um. Oh, bonk. Oh, yeah, that sends you back like all the way here. And you got to switch all of these um, fans on to unlock the doors ahead. Or else you just bonk if you don't. So this is the last fan you need to open all the doors. And I think every fan after this is optional. But if you get all the fans after this, it gives you a waddle D. And I think you might get this one. I hope so. Yep. It's one, two, and then the last one. He gets it and there we go. And while these just spawn right there. Okay, I'm gonna hold left because I always bonk right here for somehow. Yeah, there you go. That should be fine. And then we can bonk right there, actually. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh nice. Oh, we're good. Okay. I actually encountered a he glitch knows. there once where I bonked on like the edge, like the bottom edge, and I just clipped into the floor <laughs> with the arc mouth. Oh. I just went into the floor <laughs> and I fell in the lava <laughs> under, like, huh? <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, that was like the most insane thing ever. Thankfully, it was on a dead run, so it was fine. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this cone section. There's a Waddle Dee here. Okay, yeah, I know. I, I Shasta, you still might be here. traumatized from this uh, moment. It was the one time. This it this level, this part right here. If you fall in the lava with the cone, you lose a Waddle Dee. Um, however. I don't know if this one's in the route either because this one's tricky. This is easy to fall in the lava. Oh! Uh, wow! He got it. It should be fine. But That's there's the hardest section right there for sure. He still can fall off though. Uh, Hopefully he doesn't. Nah, he's good. There we go. Had an input drop there once it was uh, very sad. There we go. <laughs> there yeah, we go. So that, that's a wall D there if you don't fall oh, in the lava. I yeah. got a backup D, which was a roller coaster D. So even yeah. if I fell into a lava, it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, oh, there we go. Nice. He got the backup nice D. To have that. Yeah, that, 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 that D is really, mostly. like, yeah. You cannot route that D into, like... Because <laughs> that D is really, really, really tricky to mess up, especially blindfolded. Yeah, the one time I ever, I ever failed getting that Lava D there was my FCQ uh, 2022. Oh, that, uh, that was so... <laughs> it's that was literally so only ever gone well, <laughs> except for that run. <laughs> That's that fine, was so though. Important. It was fine. The rest of that run was, like, it, it was really good. It was, nice. it was so good. Yeah. And honestly, I had fun. That's the important part. Yeah. What, was the, what was the thing you said earlier about fun? The, the epic quote you said? I forgot what it was. I don't know. <laughs> I, I forget as well. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> I fun, about, fun doesn't expire. I don't know. <laughs> or the fun oh, yeah. the fun is not invalidated. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. the one. The, the, run, the run might be invalid, but like the, run, the fun's not invalid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's six times if I have speed boost. I'm pretty sure I'm out soon. To... Yeah, 36 seconds left of speed boost to start this level. You should be fine to get the to get the forgo DD with us. E for gore, haha. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Skull emoji. For gore land. Yeah, ice is a very easy strat for this. So it's gonna be ice right here. This is, what we, this is what I used to use for a while in this run until I finally learned how to use Drill for this fight. Oh, he's gonna turn. Oh, oh, oh interesting. Oh, he's gonna turn on Auto Swallow and haven't seen this. It's I think I know why. I think because he's gonna. I don't know, actually. Is he gonna grab Hammer? Hello. Oh, interesting. Possibly. Though, I don't know. We only, hmm. only wild these anymore at this point in the run, so, yeah. like. I don't know. Intriguing. Maybe, maybe it's just so he doesn't accidentally swallow uh, something else. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Very interesting. 
Is he gonna use the no, uh, attack he... move mm. now? Probably not. I don't think he is gonna yeah, use second phase he's, here. He's, he's not gonna use hammer, is he? No, he's not. So no, I, he, I wonder he, why he, he turned on all this while again. That's very interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's for maybe it's for another boss down the line. Maybe I'm trying to think. I'm not sure. I don't. Hmm. Maybe. I uh, barely this time the rhythm there mm -hmm. right at the ends. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> this shouldn't kill, but one more should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like Freeze be him. Uh, there we go. There we go. Got him. A little more, and, and he's gone. Eve. There Let's we go. go. Eforgore. Orgore D D D is gone. Mainly for Elfless Aiden. Hmm. Oh, that makes sense. Because yeah, you need a uh, ice especially for Elfless. Sounds very important. Interesting. But uh, I imagine he's going for the biggest kid oh, right I, okay. here. I see, I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, he's going for the other. Okay. The, the... Uh, three tries for Liangar. If I don't get it, we'll just do a uh, regular Liangar fight. All right. There we go. Yeah. Tries to skip so three this tries. is the so probably the hardest one gonna... time, which I'm assuming we are. This, this is definitely the hardest skip the entire run right yeah. here. This is called Liangar skip. And there's a few random holes in the ceiling for whatever reason of this fight here. And if you paid attention earlier, there's a, there's a glitch called a hammer super jump where we go very high into the air if you have your hammer press correctly on the ground. So we're going to need to take advantage of that and skip the entire fight because for whatever reason, the load zone for the very next fights after this is right is like right is just right there. It's lower than during I the think boss he's fight. stuck. Okay, he's unstuck. <laughs> yeah, so this is the definitely like the hardest yeah. skip in the game. Well, let's see if he gets it. All right, let's pray, chat. Let's pray he gets this. This trick's insane, and it saves like and over a minute. Something like that. The hole's not. The hole's not in like a corner of the room or anything. It's like in that random part in the middle of the room. So that's that's the other hard part yeah. about this. Look at this. Okay, let's he, let's see. Uh, there we go. He's right underneath it. And oh, oh. all right. Barely missed time. No. This. All right. Two more tries. All right. Two, two more tries. tries. Two, more, two more tries. Yeah. This is this, this is the hardest trick. Especially since, because this room is really laggy with Liangar, so even the timing's different because of the lag, so it's even harder. Yeah. It's better to, like, exit the stage and then try again, because doing it with Liangar there being annoying is, like, really, really, like, tricky to back that up. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> The sweat of victory, if you will. Or I guess soon, but yeah. And here we are. And here we Let's are. Let's meet the ultimate life form. Never mind, we're just gonna skip over it. Well, technically, we're not. We're gonna skip over this guy, though. Liangar. Yeah. Alright, attempt two. I believe. Here we go. I don't think that's uh, enough. I think that's it's not enough. Off. No. Yeah. I think this trick is like, would, like it's no, like a forward too early there. Liangar. It's supposed to be. Yeah. So like, cue would... for me knowing that I did it right is um, if Liangar is uh, deafened, basically. If I can hear a softer Liangar, I know I'm doing it right. Or if go. my hammer swings are also deafened. Mm. So uh, the H is J here. Hammer super jump. So the HSJ here, by the way, is for uh, going to the ceiling. There's a little hole in the ceiling there, and if you do it correctly, you, you skip the whole boss fight. Yeah, there's like, about four there's like a the loading run. zone underneath this arena, and you can go out of bounds by going up the arena and around. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. It's, this is one of the hardest tricks in the entire run. He's doing it without even seeing. Hey, yo, oh, hey, yo, it. let's that's freaking it. go. It. Come on, wait, not over yet, not over yet. He can still get, like, soft lock here. He's not careful. It's going down and then okay. going into the load zone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh he's so, he nah, he, he fell off. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna was like close at least? All right, one more time. He was really close, though. He just, I think he went too far, like, yeah. Uh, hey, he, he saved the video okay, there, too. I think <laughs> yeah. I had it because I got, I fell out of bounds, right? I can't tell him to do it one more okay, time, but I, I want to do exactly it one more time. Why I up. Okay, well, one more, yeah. one more, one more. One more. Like, no. <laughs> He's going more, for it anyway. Let's go. Let's go. For the fans. <laughs> yeah, this trick is like a, yeah, this trick's like a um, two frame window, right? Right enough there. Like a two frame window yeah, with yeah, the hammer uh, jump. It's, 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 I think because it's a one frame window for the actual jump um, itself. I was too or much close to that. I think it was like two. I think it was confirmed was like two or something. I don't know. Two makes sense as well. Yeah. Here we go. I believe. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. All right. Well, oh no, well. No, volcano no fire it is. Uh, what a trap. Yeah, well, that trick's really hard. I don't blame him. Strictly server of you, so I can say one more. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that trick's really that trick's really hard. That's is the hardest trick in the game. It's like the most um, costly too. How much does that trick save? Forty-five seconds, you correctly. First yeah. try. Yeah, and it's, it's so at the hard. end of the run. I feel like there's a lot of games where the hardest trick in the game is at the end of the run. <laughs> I, I remember like a few people in like the Kirby Discord. Uh, we also run three D World, so like there's also another really really hard skip oh, right yeah. at the end. That's the same way. I know that skip. That skip's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so I already doing the fight normally, which is easy to do with fire. Same with the next fight, too, that we normally do with, like, hammer if, if you have the HJ correctly. But it's hard. Oops. It is really hard. You can't... You, you might have seen that he, he did get hit one of those times and went out of bounds, but he was too far to the left. There's, like, a little room that you can go into, like, out of bounds. It has, like, the loading zone and everything. But if you're too far to the left or to the right, you just fall straight past it. So in this case, he was a little too far. Yeah. It happens, it's hard. Which means we actually but. gotta go through the cutscene to save Elphalint. <laughs> yep. <laughs> does, does he know the movement though? Ooh. Attack boost right There's here. There's the attack boost. Alright, good call. Yeah, that fire has been call. twice the most damage. Gonna dodge, dodge roll, roll to... Very good. Alright. Dodge roll will give me more time to attack. Just be a few... Yeah, he's gonna... Do this once. He's gonna do this annoying thing. Almost yeah, done. The is... burn damage might get him. Or there we go. There we go. Nice. So mm. now with this, uh, plot happens. A uh, very scary thing happens, and then we're gonna go fight uh, the just the result of the very scary thing that happens here. <laughs> you see that big guy in the background right there? Uh, it turns out Elflin, the little, little cute, cute guy, like the little cute little mouse friend there. Uh, yeah, they're they're like one part of them, and he just kind of awakens out of that out of that big uh, capsule in the back, and now he just turns into this. He absorbs Leon and like all and like all the creatures. Yeah, and everything in this, this world, is the fun fact. This. this is the reason this game had a, has a fear rating. This guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Echo Porter right here. Also, if you did Liangar skip, you would just skip straight to this fight. You could skip. You would skip all the cutscenes before it, which includes saving Elflin. But the game would act that you saved them already, so you don't really. Now, a little fun fact yeah. for you: uh, you don't lose your power on this fight, no matter what. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's nice. He's probably like the easiest boss in the game. You just, you just like hold B. <laughs> Besides, one of the easier yeah. ones. <laughs> but then we get to this one. <laughs> then we get to one of the horror fights. <laughs> Which makes sense because it is the final boss. The final boss. That's it. It is the final, final boss. Well, not really. This is so just the regular final so after boss. This, Elphilus and uh, <laughs> Fed Infecto Porter right there, they materialize together, combine, combine powers together and all that. And now they just turn into uh, this this fellow over here. That's Fed up there. Elphilus. There's a, there's a final boss. Now this guy looks he's basically, sick. He's basically like. He's basically a god that can control dimensions, so like he's really cool and all that. <laughs> and he's got big, uh, giant spear, you know, like. Yeah, so he can like control. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he can like spawn portals whenever he wants. So he's going for the quad star strat. Very good. That's what I figured he'd go for. Yeah. Whenever he go, he drives the spear into the ground. There, he spawns about six stars, and you go up to up to four, like. Like it doesn't it doesn't do like a it doesn't do like a times six multiplier, it's like a times four multiplier for like your uh your stars. So like yeah, it only goes up to four. Right. And bam! Look at that. Bam. There we go. Bam. This first phase actually has like a bit of RNG. Like the first few patterns is a bit RNG. Yeah, what it actually yeah. does is pretty yeah. random. I think this phase is After more. This first attack here is yeah. Yeah, but after the first attack here with the meteor, it's it becomes random again too. Mm -hmm. Or actually, not after the meteor. I think after, after the, the, uh, the healing, healing phase. Yeah, yeah. After oh. that's random again. Yeah, so we're just raining down meteors at our face, and then we're just waving hi. <laughs> yeah, you can you can just what guard the meteor. You can just guard the meteor, and it does like chip damage. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the, the meteor does not hurt Kirby when he's just crouched down guarding. He is cracked. Kirby, Absolutely. Kirby truly is a god. It's true. All right, 
Healing yeah, it's phase. One to six right here. And it's random. And this actually is random, oh, so three, actually. you can't see. So, so he gets lucky here. Gonna, he gets lucky. He gets lucky. Right here. So the one with the shadow is the real time? one. Nice. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. It I should be it right here. I think. I think so. Uh, Oof. Oh, oh yeah, no. Not yet. No, one more hit. One more hit. Yeah, if you if you lose <laughs> your one more hit. Hey, if you lose your ability yeah. like with fire and you're burning an a enemy, it also if you lose your ability, it also gets rid of the burn damage. <laughs> and then just destroying your palm Mario Party one style. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and now this is the end right here. All this right, GG's this on the is run. the most epic ending you'll ever Pretty see. Pretty much GG's now. There's nothing you mess up until again yeah. that's gonna like really like destroy the run really. All right, let's go. It's very straightforward. It's time for Truck B. Time Truck for B. Let's go. Nah, this song is really good. Visibility Candy. I can say, we can say about like every song in this game. Yeah, to be fair, like, there's like no bad song. Can, really. They kind of pop off of this one, yeah. I won't lie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a straight shot until the end. Reminds you of Crisis City from like Sonic 06 right here. Just all of a sudden buildings all around you, all, all falling yeah. down, all that. All the meteors, all the lava and everything. Very good. K Kona. <laughs> Yeah, oh. Truck B, let's go! Hey, Kona, <laughs> brother! <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, thankfully the camera's actually, like, pointing him in the right direction, so he needs to, like, do, like, a few slight movements to adjust himself. Mm -mm -mm. Like, little things you need to optimize this section, like, not hitting those whole blocks there, but, like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> If you hit those blocks, it gives you like a bit of hit lag. There's like a, there's like little things like that. It doesn't yeah. really matter though. The biggest thing is just, Wait, you know. Y'all want to see something funny? Yes. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, he can't oh, hear yeah. us. <laughs> what would happen if you messed up this time attack? <laughs> this one is my favorite. If you mess up this one right here, just watch, just watch, watch, watch. Watch, watch champ. Oh. Go, Kirby. You got... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that oh my gosh! That was so funny. Right, that was right, so right. funny. Serious time. Serious time. <laughs> I forgot about that. He just nose dives into. Yeah, he just kind of just nose dives and he's gone. <laughs> he just eats it. A. Eh? Let's go, Kirby. It's Kirby time. There's two matching sections, and it's time as soon as the Kirby goes right through Factopolis. My favorite we'll part that. of this game is this part where Kirby goes, yeah, it's it's trucking time, and he proceeds to truck all over Factopolis. My favorite part of the game. game. Yeah. Best part. It's trucking time. Woo! <laughs> ah! Time is not now. It's very soon. Wait for it. Part always breaks my Wait hands. All right, time is coming up. Time is coming up. All right, pause. And time. Let's go. GGs. GG. GG. Oh. Really good run. Heck yeah. Okay, what's the time looking at? Uh, All let's right, see. let's. Oh, yeah. 19. 19. There we go. 18, there we go. That was not bad at all. It? Underestimate? That's always the goal? Let's <laughs> always. Go. Gosh. You know, Bomb Happy, I want to know what gave you yeah. the idea to speedrun Kirby in the Forgotten Land blindfolded in the first place? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the first thing is um, back when I didn't even do speedrunning whatsoever, like I was just a casual GDQ watcher every semi, semi annually, right? And at some point, I just got YouTube recommendations of Mario 64 by Bubsia blindfolded. And I was like, that's really neat. I think that's cool. And then I kind of like researched into techniques and stuff. And I was like, oh, that's cool that they like do things to help themselves find where they are in the map. And then at some point, like five, seven years later, I'm like, oh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. It's like budget Mario Odyssey, but like Kirby. <laughs> And I was like, wow, this is like really easy. I love this game. This game is fun. It's Kirby. Um, you have a good time upgrading abilities. And then I was just like, hmm, I'm gonna speed around this game. And I was like, should I blindfold it though? And mm. then at that point I was just like, yeah, I'm down to try it. And I was a total noob. It was definitely an adventure for me to do it blindfolded the first time around. But uh, 
Yeah, I mean, look at that. Two hours and 18 minutes, which is yeah. about like 40, 45 minutes behind a world record. That's, that's incredible. Visual. That was incredible. So Seriously, like uh, claps in the chat for, for Bomb Happy. I, I had a great time watching the run. Um, but yeah, Bomb Happy, do you want to like uh, give any shout outs or comments for our viewers before we wrap it up tonight? Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely shout outs to Shasta and Mario for um, coming into commentary for me. Otherwise, I would have been trying to do commentary by myself, which would make it slightly harder to do the run. <laughs> I <laughs> bet. Um, Happy to help. Other than that, like, shout outs to Railu for, like, hard grinding the any percent category and finding all the neat little tricks that you can do. Shout outs to the Kirby community in general, which you can actually find on the speedrunning uh, speed website for the Discord. And then there's also the blindfolded Discord as well, which I learned a lot. I started utilizing a lot of like beat counting and you probably saw my head Ooh. bobbing a bunch of times, either for fun or for actually <laughs> counting. But um, yeah, like, Definitely, I learned a lot just knowing what kind of techniques to use, and I mean, there's still more to grind for sure. Like, I'm I'm still planning on grinding Kirby in the Forgotten Land, maybe trying to get it into um, the the summer SGDQ. Who knows? Hey, Who knows? Yo. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna keep grinding it until I get tired of it, which is I don't know. I, I take I, I take hiatuses. It's very tiring um, grinding blindfolded. That's for sure. Well, thank you very again so much, uh, Bomb. Yeah, no, I, I it, you know your hard work paid off. Um, Mario Shasta, you want to say anything before we wrap it up? Uh, if if you enjoyed this run in general, uh, <laughs> this game is very very fun, very rewarding speed run. Uh, recommend checking out the actual the, the run for it too. A lot of categories for us. So just this game's got a lot going on for it. And the community is very uh, helpful, just helping out new runners. You should, you should check out our Discord. Like, go to literally any KirbySpearing.com page. There's a Discord link, or a little Discord icon like, on the page there, at least for our, our whole Spear and Discord. Is it all the Kirby games together? All of them except for Air Ride and Epic Yarn. They have their own Discords. Okay. Right on. Okay, well, um, I guess that is going to be it for tonight, everyone. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube from the future and you enjoyed tonight's show, make sure to press the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in watching our shows live, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash games done quick starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern, weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Tune in tomorrow for No Category Left Behind, followed by Speedruns from the Crypt, all starting at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thank you all so very much for watching Time Capsule tonight. I've been your host, Smooth Operative. Have a beautiful day or night, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye gamers.